Hey everybody, how's it going today? John here, what if I could scroll stuff for design and woodworks. How's it going everybody? I'm a little tired today. <laughs> I was up all last night. Uh, I was doing my show and then I was on with uh, China, the crochet queen, and then I was on with Jessica this, this morning as well. Uh, we had a blast all night long though. I didn't get to bed till 6.30 this morning. Only slept for about maybe an hour or so. But uh, we're here. How's it going? What are you up to? Uh, Herb is here. I know we had a discussion about what all was going to happen on today's show. Herb is here, but he has some news. Do you want to tell them? I didn't do a live today. <laughs> Let me put you on. You can tell everybody. What well, I'm under. I'm under the weather. I don't know what I ate last night, but. Uh... At least I ain't the only one suffering. Exactly. But I did get some, <clears throat> I did get some wood prepped. So I want to say hey to everybody out there in the chat. It will. Greg. Mike, Kevin, Greg, Kurt. How do you all survive the great blackout of 2024? What was that? Was that today? Was it the eclipse today? Or was no, it was supposed to be the 8th. Oh. Hey, Larry. Hey, Jess. Hey, Chris. How's it going, man? Yeah. What's up, man? What do you mean you got so much to do today? I just started three projects outside my yard, and I just stopped all of them midway through. Really? Yeah. I took the microwave out of the camper today to fix it. It's sitting out of the ottoman upstairs. Well, that's not getting it fixed. Well, it's halfway there. It's out of the camper. Just buy a new one. Be done with that's it. what I ended up doing. But first, I'm doing an autopsy. It works great. I used it three times. The well, door went open. I thought the, door I was release, gonna... the door release button broke. I thought I was going to have to call you earlier. Huh? Thought I was gonna have to call you earlier. I don't use your Texas. Use your expertise. Uh, it, it, yeah. The commission would pay pay well for it, though. Oh, okay, <laughs> I can charge for the mile. There you go. <laughs> you can get it out of the insurance company. Be right by. Be my guest. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Greg. Please hey, Tammy. Tammy's over on Facebook. Just where's your mustache, John? You look naked. Well, you know, so I, I, I told the girls last night, they're like, I said, you know, I, I, I like totally different when I look like a little, little boy again. They're like, nah, I can't see it. I'm like, mm, wait for tomorrow then. So there you go. It's all hey, change right. table. Like, uh, uh. You used to have a mustache. I used to have a whole beard. So I went oh, from man. like 52, uh, uh, I went from looking freaking 52 to, I don't know how old I look now. 30 something. 65. I look like John Cena almost, eh? Yeah, if you say so. Okay. Let's just hope you didn't shave all over. Oh, yeah. Shave my back. <laughs> shave the chest. <laughs> He's an only dad. No, I didn't like to shave that again. Damn, I. Worse the first time it happened. I don't need to. I'm comfortable in my own skin. Yeah. <laughs> Kurt says trees down, power pole snapped off. Some folks are still without power. Oh. Wow. Holy moly. Oh, hello, everyone. Because it wasn't fun. Well, I have a quest for so quotes out for a whole, whole home gen set to power the house and shop. Need heat in there at least. Wow. Kurt says you look good for 87. <laughs> What's the good. project for tonight? I'm still working on other, all my other projects right now. Working on everything. Gotta get shit done. That could be like 400 projects. Uh, I'm falling down reading the chat. Chris, you're stuck but with I was, it. Uh, uh, I, was really making, I was really making chains for crocheting, see? Yeah, that's what I was really doing last night. Well, the part that I looked like, you looked like you was lost. Can, can you cut that with a scroll saw? 
Everybody you know what? It would out. probably be e- it would probably be easier to fucking cut it on the scroll saw to make yeah. a finished project on the scroll saw. Uh, but it, it uh, was kind of hilarious. John had his two fingers in there digging for something. <coughs> uh, yeah. uh, we find the spot. So much fun. Uh, well, I was trying to find the spot, so I had to put I had to put a finger in first, then I had to put two fingers in and wiggle them around. Couldn't find it, so I put my two fingers in the back hole, and I'm wiggling like oh. this. And I actually touched my fingers together. I still couldn't find what I was looking about, for. Are we talking about the same thing? So, wow. so, so, so then what I did was I actually put my fingers back in again. I was using my thumb on top to try and rub it a bit, and then I found what I was looking for. It's hell when it happens, don't it? Now you realize oh, we're talking sorry. about yarn here, right? Happy anniversary. They are so dirty over there. They're worse than we are. <laughs> yes, they are. Bad people, bad people. Well, like so over on Jessica's on Jessica's show this morning, she was over for about two hours. And I'm like, Jessica, what's the magic circle? She's like, Well, I could show you a magic circle. She she showed me a magic circle, right? And uh, she, she, it was big. She, she, she made this cool, this cool circle out of yarn, and it was, had this huge hole on. She's she like, see this big hole? And she, see this, this tail on it? I go, you're not, you're gonna, you're gonna pull the tail. She goes, yeah, I'm gonna pull the tail on it, and it's gonna tighten the hole right up. So she starts pulling on this. So it's a circle. She starts pulling on this tail on the bottom, and the hole goes like this. I'm like, oh, that looks pretty cool. And she goes, no, wait for it. It goes like this. <laughs> like that. She gets this tight little hole just by pulling on the tail. I'm like, eh, that's pretty interesting. Okay. So how how are those Red Sox doing? Now tell me, <laughs> tell me, tell, tell me, we're bad on our show, right? These are women talking like this. This is oh. so bad. Well, you reap what you sow. You reap what you yarn. You reap, re- you reap your crochet. <laughs> Hello, Robin. I can't wait till I make me a couple magic holes. What? So circles, magic circles. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. You no, know, everybody was it was on there helpful, trying to show me all kinds of stuff, and it was just so much, so so much at one time. But I'm thinking I'm going to. Uh, Take it all, sort it all out, work out what I need. And then Jessica's like, what are you doing? And I said, I'm crocheting. She goes, no, you're not. What are you doing? Where's your hook? I said, it's on the table. Goes, what are you doing? I said, I'm using a Q-tip. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I said, well, I, I, I made this. Isn't that cool? She goes, what the fuck? Without a hook. I'm like, At, I, I couldn't figure out with a hook, so I figured out my new way. Figured out my own way to do something. Shame, shame, shame. Well, I have to do the thing. Let me know. I know what the magic circle is. <laughs> so, in four minutes, I have to go to Doug's. I have to go to Doug's premiere in four minutes, just so you know. Right, oh, I got to. Uh, I got to work on my tension. I got to work on my freaking lines and everything else. I don't know. You can do that while you're watching Russell's show at 7, uh, 8 o'clock, whatever the hell he does. Yeah. I think it's a curl, though. I think it's, 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 it's a rolled. It's pretty thick yarn. It's practice yarn, apparently. It's like okay. having scrap wood to work with, right? It's not that big. It's only four mil. You're, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to pull my yarn out. Just don't. No, stop. Stop, Chris. Just stop it. What? What? <laughs> I was gonna pull it out and tell you what color it was and the weight of it, and <laughs> it wouldn't mean nothing to me because I don't know anything about it. But I nod my head and politely say, "Uh huh." Uh huh. Hey, Angela, how's it going? Hello, Angela. <clears throat> yeah, Larry says he did his first attempt at a, a yarn hook today. I saw it; it looks pretty good, and uh, I'm gonna tell them anyway. What is a yarn hook? He asks. What is it? What? A yarn hook. A yarn hook. Okay. 
I may have seen one. I hope not. Fair enough. My wife and me. Oh, okay. Oh, those are the things that I sit on on the couch. When my wife forgets to put them. On. So Larry made this. Uh, there's Larry's attempt at a yarn hook, right? Okay. And I said, well, if it doesn't work out for you, you can use it for something else. My poke a hole. I'll get rid of the hammy. Use it as a as a hole reamer. A skewer. A skewer. Yeah, it's not sharp enough for a skewer. You oh, wouldn't. You, would, you wouldn't want. It, it, but but it, it it's ribbed like beads like it's, it's got it's got like a beaded end on it for for a good grip right okay we'll leave it there yeah oh a vast how come this ain't working my wife has passed out on the couch upstairs <sighs> Well, that ain't nice of her. So one of the three projects I was working on today, uh, my wife's garden beds. We have raised beds out there. And two of them have rotted away. So I'm going to rebuild them. And I said to her, how high do you want them? Because they were 12 inches tall. And we're getting older. So I'm thinking the higher would be better for getting down your knees to weed them. So I was yep. going to go up to 18 inches or so. But Google says 6 to 12 is correct. Recommendations from the crowd. <sighs> cricket, cricket, cricket. Well, I got a problem, Massa. Do collects. Okay, drainage issues. Good. I'll keep them low. Less work. Well, apparently that camera ain't worth a shit. I can oh. use them with raised garden beds. Yeah. Because, you know, things don't grow in the dirt if you lay them on ground level. Oh, yeah, but it, it depends on how, like, like every, everything will get root-bound regardless. Like, it depends on what you put in there for, for, for plants. But uh, you basically only need about 18, 18 inches, but that's including your drainage rock. Well, I don't use any drainage rock. Cause like you're building it right I'm on the ground. I'm building them on top of um, Well, the thing is, in, uh, in my yard... We have as a base about 20 inches of good topsoil before you even hit the clay. And it, drain, it drains well. Why we need to raise bed, I don't know. But well, fish isn't have been down so far. Exactly. That's what it was. Raised beds were originated for people that didn't have to bend over so far to the ground. Or they yeah, knee problems old people like, like me. Yeah, we right back. But basically, if you build your bed 36 or 42 inches tall to the top end of it, that's a good, good height. But basically, you don't have to fill it. You don't have to fill it with soil. You basically right. fill it with rock. Fill it with rock Bed and rock, rain. Gravel. It. Yeah. Yeah. And, and well. You don't even have to. You, but you don't have to fill the for the full 36 inches. You only need about 18 inches, in, right. including including your your dra drainage rock and just have some drain holes at the bottom. But you can still make solid sides on it, though. I think I'll probably just build another 12-inch tall rectangle and plop it in place. Like it's worked fine for 10 years. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Moon Rose. Hey, Moon Rose, how's it going today? Hey, JJ. <clears throat> oh, I know her name, but I can't think of it. Crystal, isn't it? Yep. See, my mind's not here. Where is it? I think it's somewhere in there in the Tupperware. 
in that big red can in there. Yeah. I keep mine in the freezer. Keeps it fresh. <clears throat> And if anybody out there cares, go Yukon, March Madness. Good old Crafty Annie. Hello. Hey, Annie, how's it going today? I got something for someone and I just woke up. What? Got something for someone and you just woke up. Oh, no. <clears throat> well, I'm gonna do a live tonight, but I don't feel like it anymore. Project number four done. <laughs> she said, "Better than a frog here, split three ways." Foggy went to court and he did right, huh? Huh? Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh man. That's right, Arch. It's a crap show. <laughs> yep. I'll wake up here in a minute. What's for dinner tonight? I know it ain't gonna be spaghetti. We got ham salad coming for dinner tonight. Hello. Much as I love ham, I'll make it. Uh... Uh, I made the ham salad. It's good stuff. Ham, pickles, mustard, and a little mayo. And he said, what is the number one thing that sucks about cooking a large meal? Oh, cleaning up afterwards. Nobody, nobody showing up for it. Well, that's the good part. You get the leftovers. Oh, God. <clears throat> Years ago, I was doing some, I was cooking a dinner for the Knights of Columbus at my, my local town. I cooked eight full turkeys, and it snowed that day. <laughs> oh, Lord. So we didn't cancel it, but for eight full turkeys, we had 25 people. Dang. Yeah. So I had, I, I had turkey for 120. We ended up bringing it to a local soup kitchen. They were glad to have it. Um, yeah, I made a bunch of enchiladas for my daughters. Oh, we'll be over for Sunday. How many are you cooking? I said, probably about 75 of them. Oh, that'll be enough for all of us. Guess who ate that crap for the next two weeks? Oh, how's your septic tank? <laughs> septic? I don't know. I love, I love enchiladas. Oh, yeah, good. <laughs> oh, so did I. Uh, really hard to find a good enchilada up here in the northeast. No, no, says everybody looks as serious. Yep, uh, I just don't feel too good today. And then, of course, last, last night, you? Pam got in there and started. Putting that packing in my foot. Oh God! I'll be glad when that ordeal is over with. Is it healing up okay? Yeah, we went from about eight inches down to about the size of a dime. Good. <clears throat> Please, I uh, hope there ain't but one more skin graft.
Wales back. Uh, let's see. Uh, I'm not the best at that somewhere. I gotta find. I gotta find a camera that works. No, well, the one you use seems to work. Yeah, but I don't want to bring it. Take it outside and bring it back inside. Oh. I love my Ospots. They're fantastic. That's why. I was <clears throat> Ain't nothing ever cheap anymore. I just realized, Mike, I'm completely backwards on the screen. You could change your mirror your thing. I know. I just noticed that. My OCD is kicking in. Uh, hello, Maritza. <clears throat> That's better because now the toolbox is over here. Kurt says I need to get a new camera for the house and put this one I have in the shop. <clears throat> yeah, my stuff for buying electronics is. Some of the cheap, some of the cheap cameras work really, really good. Well, this is a Logitech. CIC270, which is, is what the other one was, but the other one somehow or another it muted itself and I can't figure it out how to get it done. You know, I have I have a few webcams. And one of them is a Logitech. I don't know which one it is, but it's recognized on all computers except the one I needed to be rec recognized on. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, it worked there for a long time because that setup that I had in that travel trailer, I had two cameras always going, but when we moved, now it won't, won't re it'll recognize it, but it won't show a picture. Weird. You need to find a teenager to fix it for you. I just need to find somebody who's got two hands to take it apart for me. Hey, Nancy, how's it going today? <clears throat> Hello, Nancy. Her you only need one hand and a hammer. It'll come apart. If I could hit you with a hammer, I'd hit you in the morning. I'd hammer it. <laughs> you know, I'm gonna throw that song. If I could throw a hammer, it'd be with my good arm. <laughs> if I could throw a hammer, it'd be going that direction. Uh, and he says, uh, I got three pans of turkey roll ups, three pans oh. of lasagna. Oh my god, she just stuffed peppers. Oh, gummy worms. We'll be right down. Yeah, send us the address. It's take like 18 hours to get wherever you are, but. When all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Yeah. <clears throat> Nancy says, I recognize the voice, but not the face. That's Frida, John's cousin. Still the same person. Yeah. Well, see, I can make I, I can make all these goofy faces that nobody ever saw before. Because you know the beard, the beard covers a lot, but it actually, you know, it wasn't that big of a beard. It's like you know, I can make all these stupid faces now. Oh, it looks like Bruce Willis. Well, I think I think it looked more like John Cena. Uh, Bruce, Bruce Willis when things are blown up in front of him. Uh, and he says, "Depends on what coast you're on, Chris." East Coast. Hello, Steve. Hey, Steve, how's it going?
I need a bag to put all my crochet stuff in. I need a bag to put all my crochet stuff in now. Bet you on. No, so I don't lose it. So I know where everything's at. West Virginia, Blue Ridge Mountains. Anyway. Uh, oh man, this chat's moving fast. I got one on Facebook Marketplace secured in my camp stand for a hundred bucks. Says oh. Will. Steve. She says, and he says, when I walk, you can say feeding people is what I love, but I hate working in restaurants. <clears throat> I'm like, I'm fixing to lose my voice. Y'all don't have to do all the talking tomorrow. Look at that. I got a work in progress box I can put stuff in, too. <laughs> and I'm going to lose it. Is that it? Oh, more here in there. How long are you going to be out for tonight, John? I don't know. We'll see. 12, 14 hours. Uh, uh, Nancy, that's not com it, number one. It's not completed. Number two, it's going to be for the auction. So I can't. I, I, I don't want to uh, sell off used stuff. That'd be better if there was <laughs> coffee. Mm. Coffee. Ugh. I've been drinking coffee all day now. It's like uh -huh. fifth cup. Man. By now, I'd probably be on the third or fourth pot. <clears throat> I gave up coffee for Lent. Lent's over. I went back to coffee. I want to go back to tea now. <sighs> coffee just doesn't do it anymore. <laughs> oh, Thanks no. for reminding me. I got a cup in the freezer, Nancy said. Nancy, you should just, like, when you put it in the freezer, Set a timer on your phone so you and, and just just write down coffee alarm. So you know it's in the freezer. That way you forget it. Larry, you get coffee slurpees. <clears throat> Larry says, me and laptops don't get along, LOL. It just says, and over on Facebook. Nancy's the person for the bag. Yeah. I need a notions bag. But I think it, I think it'd be easier if I just make a box. Oh, you know, see, I can make a box. Mm. Oh, you know what? I'm going to give me some plastic totes. No, I have, uh, I got some storage containers over there. Uh, wall mount storage containers that, that drop out, but the, the whole, the whole, the whole bin comes right out. I can put that right here. Put that on here, and then everything will go inside. All the dust will stay out. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We're keeping well, it up. I want, I, I want to read my whole my whole layout anyway. No, not keeping me up. You know, I have fallen asleep on the show before. <laughs> Once or twice. Me, me too. That's yeah, once or twice. Yeah. Once or twice. <laughs> it's it's kind of hard to get comfortable in this wheelchair. Yeah. Let me get in my desk chair, and that'd be another story. I'll be gone. <sighs> Gentlemen, I'll be back in a little bit. I got to go upstairs and tend to uh, some supper. Supper. Oh, bring me your coffee back, please. Supper is ham salad. Holy cow! It's five o'clock already. No, no, it's, it's seven twenty. Six twenty. I think it was so late. Now, we had a late lunch at Panera Bread today. It took forty-five minutes to get our order at a Panera Bread. Are they packed? Be back. Did they make it from scratch? No, they they take at least the one in our in our area. They have a huge takeout and DoorDash business, and they give them more. Priority over the people that are standing in their restaurant waiting for their food. I hate that. Yeah. Good old customer See, like, service. On, honestly, you, you, you think 
because you, you, you would think that, that by walking into their store and sp- yeah. taking the time to park your vehicle and go inside and talk to them in yeah. person that you'd have better service. Right. And they also make more money off of the people in the store because with the door dashes, they got to pay, they have to pay door dash. You don't, yep. they do. Yep. Exactly. But, you know, they should have something on their app that when they get a certain number of orders in, they should automatically say, pause. We can't take any more online orders at this time. We're maxed out. Yeah. Or they, like there's going to be a wait time but, or something, right? Like, I don't but, know they, but they won't turn down business. I will, I will say one thing. The crew behind the, the counter that's making the food were working their asses off. They weren't just sitting there chat, 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 chatting with each other. But you know, they're going to lose all their health that way, too, because they're going to burn them out within a couple of weeks. Yeah, exactly. But anyway, I'll return. All right. Take care. Yeah. If they get that many DoorDash orders, hire more staff inside and hand those in addition to the walking customers. Well, yeah, but then, see, but they're, uh, where, where, I can't remember where that is. There's a fully automated, fully automated McDonald's somewhere that they just built and just put up. There's not one person that actually works in the store. You pull up in the drive through or you can actually walk up inside. It's all robotic. It's all automatic. There's not one person that works in the store. I get, I think a janitor staff that comes in and like engineering staff that comes in and does maintenance and stuff. I'm pretty sure the shake machine works all the time. <laughs> but it's fully automated. There's nobody there at all. It's unbelievable. So I know I know uh, I do have uh, on my show, I guess, some new stuff coming up anyway. Um, I'm starting a new show or a, a new channel for my crocheting journey. I don't even know what I'm going to call it yet. I think we're going to call it uh, Hooks and Whips and Chains. Oh, I just... <laughs> like last night we were talking about hooks and whips, but now I got hooks, whips, and chains. Here we go. There's the name of the new show, Hooks, Whips, and Chains. All right. <laughs> hooks, whips, and chains. Uh, crochet, a crochet journey. There we go. Yeah, Jessica, exactly like that. Hooks, whips, and chains. A crochet journey. <laughs> I could say a pleasure. Oh, how can I put this now? So, you know, because it's still going to sound legit and not too off the wall. But, uh, uh, yeah, Annie, exactly. But we, we can uh, uh, hook you in the magic circle with John. <laughs> uh, we got to make it sound like, like not, you know, it's got to sound good, but it can't sound too dirty. So it's like hooks, whips, and chains, uh, an enticing crochet journey. There you go. In- enticing crochet journey. There you go. That's it. That's it. So I got to start a new channel. Now. <laughs> we'll see how that one works. <laughs> No, it'll be it, it'll be it'll be a complete a complete new channel. Oh, Steve, just like uh, you know the Messalinia Studio and it's it's not gonna be as bad as uh, Matt ha- uh, Matt Haas though and all his eight thousand that he has. All right, Nancy, take care. Thanks for stopping by. Sure, Annie. We got lots of opinions here. We like to share our opinions. Or we 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 we'd like to help you with your ideas. What do you got? Some opinions you might even match up to the question asked. <laughs> Some of them might, yes, exactly.
My neighbor was out in his yard, and my dog just walked up, walked by him. And my dog is more apt to lick you to death. He doesn't jump or bark. Neighbor pulls his leg back to kick. I ain't gonna know where this is going. Continue with your question, though. Well, I know how I, 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 I can already sense how this is going. I already know how most of these go. My dog was in my yard. We share a sort of fence. Did either part not post? No, it didn't. back hey chris how's it going i haven't seen you in a while buddy what have you been up to hello chris time for dinner shall return soon says kurt so i'm guessing i'm I'm well. You're, you're probably. I'm hoping you're going to write down the rest of your question. Um, but I'm guessing that depending on the bylaws in the area, you're going to either going to have to reinforce your fence, in which case ask the neighbor to pay half to offer. If not, then do it yourself. But you can do whatever you want. That's the issues that I deal with. Um, but if he's worried about your dog biting him or whatever, then you might invest in a shock underground shock fence with the shock collars uh, a dog deterrent hey tracy how you doing today how you doing today tracy hello tracy Go back to my kill already, oh, their dogs are in your yard all the time. And I never fuss. They never pet their dogs, so they come over here to get cuddles. Mm. See, so you pretty much have to. Uh... And he says, some, for some reason, YouTube doesn't like what I say. That's weird. It should be fine. She said I the think the whole, the, 
the whole thing about having dogs and neighbors and everything else is that if their dogs come into your yard, you you, you accept them, then they pretty much have to accept your dog going to the, your, their yard. Unless you start a fuss about it and talk to bylaw and get city involved in it, then it turns into a big neighbor dispute. Yeah. But... But the thing is, basically, if uh, if uh, you invest in a pet fence, like or just, just like I said, just 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 build a fence, build a fence, or stabilize the fence that's already there. Do your due diligence, and then contact bylaw officers to take care of their dogs all the time. But yeah, it, but but it, but if, if you kick your dog or hit your dog, then you can actually taken to court for that but he's going to say that your dog was on his property but you can go back with his dogs are on your property all the time too and then it's going to turn it's going to be a big court case going to turn out it's going to be like well to build a better fence it sounds like the neighbor's a butt nugget yeah where cliff is today Probably asleep. Mm. <clears throat> oh, I know he's not asleep because he looked at those posts that I sent them earlier. taking care of mother's animals. And he said, that is a nicer <laughs> than the name I gave him. I can imagine. Hello, Jen. She said, evening, folks. Hey, Jen, how's it going? I haven't seen you on my... Oh, you know why? I haven't seen you over here in a while because I don't post on Facebook. I haven't been posting on Facebook in a while. That's why. That's it, isn't it? Because you're never on YouTube. That's why. Yes, Chris, I got it. I was going to get out there today to do a, uh, a live, but uh, Mother Nature didn't want to cooperate. Well, I know, I, uh, Greg, I know his uncle's coming by again today to check something on it, so I don't know. <laughs> You're probably correct there, Greg. Uh, hopefully this sandwich will stay down. No, I just got back in the lathe last week, so it wasn't doing much. No, that's cool, Jen. I love your bowls you put out, though. You're still forcing Jen to make you all those planks, though. <laughs> Don't force him. He does it because he loves me. Of course, it keeps me under his hair. 
Yeah, Charles texted me about 11 o'clock. Thought y'all was going live at 10. Get there when we get there. Well, like I, I, I went in the house at, uh, I think it was 3.30. Carrie got up. She goes, you coming in? I said, no, I'm not even tired. We're still, we still got another show to do. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I, I, I can't sleep without you. I'm like, well, I'll be in a bit. So when I got in at 6.30, I basically got in, uh, turned the coffee pot on. She goes, do you know what time it is, mister? I'm like, yeah, I know what time it is. You're just getting in the house now. I'm like, yeah. She goes, are you up? I'm like, yeah, I'm up. I can't, I'm not sleeping right now. She goes, okay, I'll get up too. <laughs> the coffee was ready. She made breakfast. Oh, yeah, so I got that too. <laughs> like I said, digest that bacon, didn't you? Yeah, like I said, she just she put a movie on. We started watching a movie, so. Netflix and, Netflix and chill at 6.30 in the morning, eh? Uh, everybody just saying um, hello, Haim. Hey, Haim, how's it going, buddy? Long time see, no see. Yeah, I know. That's because of Facebook, right? There's only certain people that will only go on Facebook. They don't have YouTube, and like I said, there's people that are on YouTube that don't have Facebook. So I guess I got to start going to both platforms now. So I guess when I start me crocheting, I'll go on both platforms as well. Then too. <laughs> Just got your new page for that as well on Facebook. Oh, that coffee tastes so good. Eighteen people watching. Holy cow! If you guys got any questions, comments, or inquiries, throw them in the chat. There, be sure and answer them for you. If not, um, we'll get uh, Robin, uh, if she's still here, to get, uh, Google them for you. Exactly. Jen, so what's <clears throat> I'm doing right now? Crocheting. Yeah, Jen. So I'm on this new adventure of crocheting because because there's a lot of there's a lot of yarnies, fiber artists in the chats now. And uh, I'm sub sub and members on a lot of their pages anyway, so... With all, with all the help and support that they gave me, I figured I would take a take a shot at supporting them and doing what they do. So. Oh, but last night you looked like a deer in the headlights. So I was, it looked so, like you got really frustrated at one point. I did. I freaking I I, I threw my hook <laughs> and my chain down like three times because I I I, I couldn't I, I couldn't get it. I couldn't figure it out, and everyone was busy in the chat screwing around. Cliff, <laughs> Jess. Right, so. <laughs> well, you know, it's gonna be the, the comic relief. I know. So, uh, yeah, uh, Jen, I'm I'm a total noob. So I I I know how to do a slip knot to start my chain, and then I did know how to did not know how to start the chain. Hey, Paula. Hello, Paula. And, uh, so that's where it started from, right? So. <clears throat> so now I'm I got chains working and i'm trying to do a second row back and then uh whatever so i just threw it down started working on something else that i can I, I i can figure this out just the way i need to so i worked it out that way uh Heim right. says no yeah go ahead he's john which speed do you have it working i uh when i'm using my spiral blade i i'm usually at high speed it's just because because that way I can I I can get, so I, I usually have it at high speed. I just control my feed rate a little better, and I try not to cut to the line. I just try and cut up to the line that I sand it 
I sand it off using the blade. It's just I find it easier that way, especially doing this fine this fine detail work because these will snap right off. Oh. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be comical tomorrow. Chris says, I saw your yarn haul. Wait hold on a second. Chris says, I saw your yarn haul yesterday. I guess you'll have unfinished jumpers and scarves now then. <laughs> I never even thought about doing a, oh, I should do a romper. Oh my God. John's wood, John's wood romper to work in the, in the shop with. <laughs> so, oh, Susie's in. Hello, Susie. Uh, hey, Susie. Jim so just be relaxed, be patient, crocheting over 50 years, and I get frustrated, LOL. Well, actually, it, it, everybody was congratulating me because, you know, it's just like, you know, the first time doing it, and I got, what, I think I got eight, eight chains of 50 started, and then I tried to do a, a return back on a second line, and that's where I basically got frustrated at. See, I can crochet. <clears throat> That's it's possible. Like, remember that one video I, I told you about? Yep. Yeah. So it's possible. Herb says you can't crochet, but yet I I, I saw this one video. Uh, this, <clears throat> this woman, she has one arm and one leg, but she was crocheting like. Like a machine. It's unbelievable just watching her. I'm not that talented. I get lost going to the bathroom, which is out behind me. Yeah. But for some reason, this wheelchair's got a mind of its own that wants to go to the coffee pot. Oh, all the time? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's what started it all last night when I went through that coffin pit. Just do a small chain? No, no. That's a, that's a say, again, that's like saying, just, just cut a small scroll saw project. <laughs> I see there's a, a few... Uh, People over here in the chat, multitasking. No. <laughs> yes. You're telling me they're off in other streams right now? No, I can't believe that. Wait, how would you know that, Herb? Because <laughs> I have the technology to be everywhere. <laughs> hey, Jen, like, 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 saying just do a small chain is the same as making a small scroll off on it. Because this is just one piece for this. Which is on a plastic backer, which will have LEDs around it as well. So, you know, just start with a small chain. It'll be good. <coughs> so, yeah, well, they were saying, oh, we'll just start with a small chain. Just do, just do 10. Then it's like, oh, just do 25. I'm like, you know, no, I'm going to do 50. So I just did like eight chains of 50 to start off with. It's just my tension thing. I got to I gotta deal with my tension now. If you do small chains, you still make cultures out of it. LOL. <gasps> oh, yeah. But I was thinking that with my, because with, uh, see, Jen, I didn't want to do this. You're going to make me do it now. <clears throat> Welcome to John's wood 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 crocheting show. Uh, okay, so <laughs> with my <laughs> so with my uh my 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 chains that I have already, right? I was thinking about taking these chains and making chains out of my chains. Like I said, I still gotta work on my tension, but 
won't be able to stretch it. Oh no, I guess I was paying attention, huh? Jim says, good idea. <clears throat> You gotta make if I make chains out of my chains, then I can make a either like a, either a bulky sweater or a bulky blanket, right? But I just gotta work on my tension, make sure that everything. See, because this one I doubled, I did it from reverse side. This one is all straight though. So if I just do make chain, make if I make long enough chains, let's say out of a whole barn, a whole a whole ball of yarn, then I can just make. Cool. Hello, Chris. Out of my chains, out of my chains. Hello, Chris Kaleidoscope. <clears throat> oh yeah, I, I, Annie, I, I know that. It was just, it was just, it was an idea I had last night when I was when I first started my chains, right? The boy's brain never stops. Look, and then I can frog it all and start with another idea. Jim says, no work, practice your tension. What size, <clears throat> what size yarn and hook? So I got a, uh, I got a variety pack of hooks gifted to me, right? I got a variety pack of yarn gifted to me. Hold on a second. You mean they didn't give you the light up hooks? No. See, it's a whole variety. We got mother shop for Christmas one year. And I want I want a couple Hanks, right? From uh CIA that I won from Nisi. And uh and I got I got a couple cakes already too. So, but I won the uh, I won the Hanks first, and then it was like, oh, what are you gonna make? I'm like, well, I don't even have hooks. So then I got the hooks gifted to me, and then I got the so now what? So now I got so I bought a Swift, right? I got the Swift. Now I need a ball a ball winder. <laughs> I got my hooks. I got patterns. Next thing and, you know, you want to be a partridge in a pear tree. But the thing is that I never learned how to crochet. <clears throat> and they're all it everybody wants to be helpful and instructional and help me so and like that's what last night's show was well wednesday show was basically about was the yarn haul and then last night starting how to do chain good on the hooks but is it number four worsted aaron or is it dk i don't know well, well, jen it, it, it's Greek to me right now. <laughs> so I know the blue, the blue, the blue yarn that I made that stuff off of. Oh, uh, number four, medium, five mil, uh, impeccable yarn from loops, loops and threads. Uh, I believe it is acrylic. Yeah, hundred percent acrylic. <laughs> Greg said John shaved his face so he can feel his yarn. <clears throat> Come on, what is the deal here? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have a show. Where I'm just going to sit here just rubbing, rubbing cakes and yarn all over my face because it feels so nice. That's why I shaved, honestly. It did? Yeah. Okay, I'll message you tomorrow with charts and yarn size. You want acrylic to start and practice with. <laughs> yeah, and you're making it too tactical now. This is supposed to be a fun journey. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Because, like I said, like, like I, I keep saying, there's, there's never, you can never have enough knowledge to help you on your path, right? So. The yarn on the face is the one of the J's of playing with. 
Okay. Oh, yarn on the face is one of the joys of playing with yarn. <laughs> Nanny. <laughs> well, that's like on my show. I'm like, oh, this is so soft. I just want to take it, just unravel it all, and just roll around in it. <laughs> what? I think I'm in the wrong uh, wrong panel. Well, no, it's like, a, yeah, yeah. Come on, Herb. Have you not listened to? Them? You've been you've been on the shows. You've listened to them. Uh, yes, I did. Like I said, they're oh, they're worse. Sunday before last, Amanda had me laughing so hard, my ribs hurt till Tuesday. Like, they are so worse than we are. It's unbelievable. I think they scared Charles off. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, almost typed in the wrong chat again. Maybe I need to buy five more key wireless keyboards. And he says, please, we gals are as pure as a drenched snow. <laughs> oh, my God, Eddie. Oh. <laughs> you, should, you, should have been, you should have been in with us when, uh, on, uh, well, basically at, at the end of China's show and beginning of Jess's show when Bath was in there. And, oh, my God, it went so off the rails. Like, with, with the, the, the whole magic circle, the whole magic circle part, like, it's, <laughs> um, Amanda was in the chat. Amanda was in the background chat with us, and uh, <laughs> we're reading the chat, and it went so bad, so bad. Jim says, "Well, not guys, bless you all." All right, Thank Jen, you. take care. Thanks for dropping by. I'll uh, I'll wait for your message. Thank you, I appreciate it. Uh oh. <laughs> Well, you guys know, you know, I have the patience because I can cut this stuff for hours and hours and hours and teach scroll sawing. So learning crochet shouldn't be that much of an effort for me. Honestly, well, I know I'm gonna to have to re have to relearn a whole lot of but about everything. Yeah, yeah. Well, I know I have wow. some. Uh, I got some yarns or no, yeah. I got some yard stuff to yard yard with the D stuff to do tomorrow morning. But uh, we can start whenever you want tomorrow. Uh, well, being Sunday, yeah, um, you know, I guess we can do it after 12. People ought to be out of church by then. <laughs> you seen the way these people talk? They don't go to church. <laughs> I was giving the benefit of the doubt. Even, and, he says, <laughs> and he says, mostly, mostly practice and just practice. Patience, Patience and, practice. And, and practice. Come on. E <clears throat> even, even Jeannie needs church in her life. She's bad too. Jeannie Proverbs. I love her. <clears throat> Oh, somebody over there was kind of being calm last night. That was uh, Bonnie. <laughs> or did I miss some stuff? Bonnie will not put up with my shenanigans. <laughs> we'll just leave it at that. <laughs> I'm like, <laughs> because the whole thing is, the whole thing with Bonnie is, the whole thing with Bonnie is, it, it, it is that, uh, uh she won't put up with my shenanigans but like she'll she'll listen to it but she she won't play into it 
Oh. Like I'll I'll egg her on, but she just won't play into it. She, she she's smart enough. She's smart enough. She knows. And he says, I haven't been to church since I was 18. <clears throat> Last time I've been to church, I was the only one in there crying. I knew, and I done messed up when I got married to that woman. Got married in November and got divorced in March. What is it? They're all so nice and innocent, and when they get that piece of paper, and he said, "Oh wait, and I got married counts going to church." Okay, who's dinging my phone? <laughs> nice. Hey, look, what if I could is on? You just got a notification now? Yeah. Larry's back. Satisfied with this no uh, YouTube notification? No. And he says, her, my oldest brother, was married ten times and widowed once. Uh, I can only, I can honestly say my third wife should have been my first one. But I think she's ready to throw me back in a nursing home. Who, what? Nursing home? I missed that. What? Sorry. I said my, my third wife should actually have been my first wife. Oh. But I should get paroled anytime soon. I've been doing this for 22 years. Oh, wait a minute, 23. <laughs> you, think that's, you think that's the way it works, eh? I don't know. If you get a life sentence, you only do 20. Then you get paroled. Yeah, something like that. Okay, what did I miss? Damn house. He was honest. He said, told them he was ready to leave the paper. Wouldn't matter. Hey, he let them all leave with the house. They was paid off. A car, money in the bank. And then he left. Uh, he was honestly told me that he was to I'm ready to see this. Right, I got it. Oh, that'll be, uh, I, I can start that tomorrow though. I can start the broom tomorrow. We'll see how that works out. I got a, I got a, I got a phone call. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. Okay. I'll sit here and just. Yeah, just sit there and look pretty here. That'll work. Hello, China. How are you doing? Damn, Hi, China. I <laughs> hey, go to your phone call. I'll talk to her. All right. 
how you doing? Um, okay, Chris, take care. Have a good night. Oh, does anybody want to join me on the panel? I'm camera shy. Oh, China ain't doing too good today. Overdid it on the spaghetti yesterday. <clears throat> Okay. Yeah, this should be very interesting for tomorrow. God, don't leave me here by myself. I don't know what to talk about. I'm scared. I'm camera shy. And he says, LOL, Herb. I am, I'm shy. <clears throat> yes, Steve, I decided to postpone it because uh, that little room has been my best friend all day. We're going to try it for tw uh, after 12 o'clock. I guess that would be what, 11 o'clock your time? Well, thank you, Annie. This ain't working right. <clears throat> yeah. Um, I don't know who's going to post the thumbnail, me or John, but John will be in here with me. I'm going to start off with a small project first. You know, Steve, I've had that, uh, that saw for over a week, and I haven't even got out there and even cut anything yet. I'll do one of my simple word arts instead of one of my detailed patterns.
Doesn't better plug his phone up. Yeah, it's been almost 10 years since I've even tried to cut anything. I know it's going to be comical. That's not even a right plug, you dipshit. I believe he's still doing a, an art show, uh, Greg. And he says, <clears throat> since I routinely cut myself on the kitchen knives, I'm not around, allowed around power tools. A scroll saw is the safest one you can use. We're still here. John just had to uh, take a phone call. He just left me over here sitting like a deer in the headlights. Said my dad used to do scroll work, and when I was a kid, never had an interest. Craft related until I was in my thirties. Monroe says, okay, and my phone died, so that's what took me so long. Hello, Ladybug. Glad you could join us. Come on. Well, in a minute, John is going to be back scrolling. That can be entertaining. So right now, I'm just looking like a deer in the headlights. And 
and I'm multitasking. Oh. Well, we appreciate you stopping by. This may be my second project. Steve, you know me. <clears throat> yes, Ladybug, I did. I don't know what character it's from. I just seen a picture and I decided to do it. Now, Steve, you know, if I really was ambitious, I would do that one. But I ain't ready to tackle that one. Hello, Brooks. I'll cut it out in wood. I only have one in here. Uh, hang on a second. I just when she moves stuff, I can never find it.
No, uh, Cliff, John had a phone call he had to take. This is a sign I did before I had my stroke. And the other ones are all outside. What'd you do, Cliff? Just wake up? Yeah, I tried to sleep last night, but uh, that didn't happen. Are you in the background there, uh, Cliff? Well, <clears throat> wish I could let you in, but I don't have the power. multitasking I better quit multitasking because I'll end up <clears throat> messing this pattern up I think Steve would kill me see That one piece that I just showed is uh, some of the work I did. That's the only one I can get to right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember where those other ones are at. She's still probably got them packed up. Yeah, this one's basically the only one I can get a hold of right now. I think the other ones are all packed up. I had to go steal that off her desk. Stop.
Yes, I remember to save it this time. Uh, come on, John. Hello, Larry Cornelius. How you doing today? John should be back any minute, I hope. I didn't realize how ugly I was looking. Good deal, Larry. Yeah, the only other one that I have is the wood burning that's behind me. You can sit in the background. I think John fell asleep on that phone call. Yeah, let me see if I can reach it. Imagine that I did find one that was uh, hiding behind the shelf. I think I cut that one, what, 12 years ago? Before I had the stroke. Yeah, welcome to the ranch. That's it. <laughs> I got my wife involved in a project. It was three foot tall, five foot long. It was a, a poem that was burned into the wood from a tree of life. I thought she was going to kill me for that one. 
Don't you get me involved in any more of your shenanigans. I tried to get her on the scroll saw once. She said she didn't have the patience. Took too long. Well, Welcome time back, up, I know. Hey, Ladybug. Hey. Who else did I miss out there? Larry, Larry, Ladybug. Now you're back. Now I gotta go. <laughs> you were gone a couple times already. Oh. I saw that. Oh, Annie. Oh, God, this is hurting my head. I was up till after seven and had been up since seven thirty morning before. <laughs> How much longer were you on, John? Uh, I went inside. Well, I went inside at six thirty, so that would be seven thirty your time. <laughs> And then, uh, oh, it was China. Oh, hey, Connie. Is China still here? Oh, Connie. Hey, hey China. Uh, I've, I've only basically seen Annie and Connie and Larry's talking. The, the Larry's. <laughs> hey, John, I'll send you the bill for entertaining your people. <laughs> nice one, Ladybug. <laughs> Hello, Larry Larry's. No, I I didn't sleep for shit, and then I've been helping my mom since. Then I had to bathe the critters, you know, those damn things you do every day. I've only been doing it for two days. You think I could do it right? You think I? Googly moogly. <laughs> Glad you found humor in my comment. Oh, are you serious? You, you can send an invoice over. I, we'll see how it gets paid out, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sure, get past it, bro. <laughs> Talking to my dog. He's whining. He wants me to smoke so he can go outside. <laughs> Uh, we can trade payment in, uh, we, we could trade payment. I gotta see the bill first, though. <laughs> Starting already. Why is this freaking thing not cooperating, man? I'm falling, I can't get up. <laughs> oh, no. I'm going to call CNN. We have a viral video. Call 911, call 911. There's no 11. <laughs> what number is that? What's the number for 911? What the? Oh, I'm going to throw something in a second. Why? Uh, it's just not cooperating. My head isn't working. I wonder why. Well, it, it it couldn't be from a full night of 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 uh, debaucheryism on 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 China's yeah, China but it was, lives, it was lives, right? It was chemical free, especially with uh with a with a bath. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> that girl, something else. Hey Hello, Jeff, Tommy. how's it going? Hey Mike, who's the new host? Don't recognize him. Well, here I'll I'll, I'll give you a close up. There you go. Yay! Come here, buddy. Hey, you shaved. It's young John. I yeah. Well, I, I said that on my show. I, I said that over on China Show last night. That uh, you know, it, it, you know, it, you, you you guys see old John with it with it with the hairy beard and everything else. So I'll show you young sexy John tomorrow. I could not stand me clean shaven anymore. Hello, Indy Mike. Glad you can join us. So I figure, oh, oh, and, and also Cliff. So this way, being clean shaven, I can feel that soft yarn. Oh my God! Stop it! You're 
Uh, <laughs> Jeff said he's falling into the sawdust pit, and I'm oh. getting high from it. Blame it on your internet connection. Uh, <laughs> Tracy said I had to run some errors back now. Well, welcome back, Tracy. Yeah, Greg. I know you're on earlier. I know you're on earlier, Jeff, but you're back now. Welcome back, Jeff. Yeah, I went over there to get in there, and I, I get a blank screen. Into where? Jeff show. Oh, yeah. Oh, my, I put my glasses on and someone else was sitting there. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy had to run errands. Oh, she's back now. Oh, now yeah. you can stay for the, the good show. Hello, Tracy. For your... Uh -huh. Oh. So what's uh, uh what's everybody got for projects on the go out there? Huh? Just... <laughs> I showed all mine. I just I was just ripping right along last night to get started today, and my my head won't wonder why this won't ring. This won't ring. This yeah, ring got... won't go in right. Uh, your mind is elsewhere. No, it's just not. It's still in bed. <laughs> yeah, that's elsewhere. Where's that? It was that curse Beth put on you. <laughs> that was fun as hell last night, though. What three lives in a row? Mike said you look I... sixty-five. Go ahead, Herb, because I'm not consistently looking. Uh, you look sixty-five now instead of seventy-five. Ladybug wants to know what you making, Cliff. I'm making a thin red line. Here's a thin blue line to go with it. bit, or to compare it to. Uh, I've got this left to sew in, and then one row of it. Sew oh, yeah. in. And I, for some reason, can't figure out the next connector. It just doesn't want to go. Well, I'll throw it over your shoulder and come back to it ten minutes later. <laughs> It's probably not a good thing that I live very close to a, a field. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jeff, we're, we're, we're going to have to walk you through it and, and change all your settings and stuff. So that way all your viewers can, can access it. Because I know the thing is, is even when, even when, I, when I've gone on you live, my comments weren't showing up on your chat. And uh, uh, you, when you go back to do the replay, you can't, you can't watch the replay because the replay's not there either. No, Mike, oh, I didn't get a chance to get out there today. I don't know, Taffy, to be honest with I've you. I've got to change my settings. Oh, God, I didn't even think about doing all that junk. Uh, it, it may just be something that maybe somebody wants to sit on their desk hanging off the rear view mirror. I don't know. I haven't thought that far ahead. <laughs> Take care, Larry. Have a good one, Larry. I have a much bigger uh, so one to have. As, than I Sorry, as a quick example, Jeff, I can show this to you. Give me a sec. Oh. Okay, so on your YouTube page, if you go in the top corner and go down to your channel, your YouTube studio, right? As, as an example, for today's show right now because I haven't changed it if you go over to your content tab under my lives this is today's show right here this pencil is your edit pencil for details click on that it'll bring up today's show right there and then under customization so my live chat is on my live chat replay is on anyone can see it and this, this, the, these might be your issues. Click off this live reaction because that gets rid of the heart in the bottom screens so that people on, on their phones, does, that heart's not in the way of the comments, which is a pain in the ass. It, it's on my, on my computer, it's in the way of the comments. Yeah, and then just hit save. And now people over on you, people over on the YouTube, that heart will be gone and they can see all the comments now. Yeah. And then under analytics, the, 
this is where you can see what's going on your show right now but because it's because it's live right now see i got 200 283 impressions for this show 74 views on this show right now And it, it shows you where people find you from and how they found you and why they're watching you and everything else, right? Oh, boy, I need a... So that's today's show. And then once it's done, you hit save, and then it's good to go. This Jessica's back. <laughs> it, I don't think it would blow, uh, Taffy. I think it would be too heavy for that. I don't know. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. It goes to private until it's completely posted. Yeah, see, mine mine doesn't. Like, like, like it, as soon as mine stops, you can instantly replay it in, like, five minutes. Oh, that's cool. No, I've thought about add, doing and, something and, like putting these in resin, but people tell me that you get stank tons of bubbles because of the little spaces in you may continue, John. It's your show and all. I think I'm going to smoke on it. Hey, Cliff. Yes, sir. Go smoke on it. Appreciate you. Uh, and if you got them, smoke them. <laughs> well, hell, now you're in my lap, but I'm letting you do it. Okay, where am I at? Um, Angela, are are you in the chat on here? Because I can explain it to you easier on chat if you're still on my stream, if you're still on my show. Um, uh, you have twenty two people watching. You got any comments, questions, or inquiries? Leave them in the chat for it. As uh, the chat, we'll answer them to the uh, best of our ability. If not, we'll get Cliff to Google it. <laughs> I like Googling. Since you got all that power now. Uh, Google, Yahoo, Bing. Uh, I will. Ladybug. I will. Ladybug, um, what's your what's your first name again? I'm sorry. Happy. Right, Toppy. Uh, should remember that. Me. Right, right, right. Should remember that. The, the, the sticky ladybug. Uh. Yeah, because see, what I did to remember it is think of <laughs> a ladybug made out of Toppy. <laughs> that came out wrong. <laughs> oh, she got her new subscriber. She's a sticky ladybug. Oh, that's not going to remember it from now on. All yeah, right. No, that's I, I do play little games to try to remember stuff. Like uh, with uh, Kimmy Pajama Quilter, I pictured my niece, who was Kimmy, wearing pajamas. And then <laughs> I still can't ever get Jeff and Mike figured out. I don't know why. Jeff is the Dutchman. I know, and I can't figure out Mike. why is uh, Aardvark. But I can't remember go. it when they pop in. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought of a little ladybug made out of. Oh, pop. you ain't even know where to your screen. I'm seeing you some posty notes. Oh, I can see the screen. I just can't read the screen. <coughs> you need my binoculars? <laughs> I need better glasses. Oh. How about a 17-hour nap? I still can't believe we got the antenna pointed in the right direction on exact. Just where we put it. That was awesome. Yeah, Greg, from now on, all my interruptions are intentional because I got good in We noticed that last night. What, the interruptions? Or... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like, it, it was never on purpose, and that what that's what I hated, is anybody that didn't know the situation, even if, well, those that did, it probably got on their nerves, but other people just probably thought I was an asshole. <laughs> I knew it, and I still got on my nerves. <laughs> Well, it, it kind of sucked being on this end going, oh, sorry. Sorry. Hopefully these are the things that they pass. 
Jeff put up a bunch of crying emojis. <laughs> Why are you crying, Jeff? We're not, we're, no, we're, not, we're not picking on you. There's just certain ones I can't play a good game in my head to remember a name sometimes. And it pisses me off. Okay. See, I wasn't even paying attention. Go to analytics. Right? Content. I ain't got no content. Audience. Nobody. Hey, Cliff. It. How much? Yes, sir. Oh, hey, Regina. Oh, is it Regina or Regina? Hello, Regina. Hello. I know we. I know we had this discussion before. <laughs> Don't worry. I forget my own name sometimes. Huh? Cliff, how much was your uh, how much was your uh, GoFundMe for? Remember? It, it was for 800. 800? 800? Yeah, because I had to get other stuff after. And anything that was left, I actually put uh, donated to Shay's GoFundMe and uh, $20 to you. Chris, asked, says, uh, why you're asking? Sorry. Chris said, uh, I, John Cliff, her, forgot I was lurking. Howdy, Chris. May I ask why your accent, John? No. Nope. I'll let you know in a minute. Okay. Shirt is too damn small on me. That or I'm too big for it. Yeah, I forget name too. That's why I always call her beautiful in the morning because I can't remember her name. <laughs> no, it's just, I don't. And there's times I want to call Jessica Dawn, and there's no logical reason. I don't get it. Jessica looks like a Don. That's what it is. It's got to be. What? <laughs> Jessica looks looks like Don or looks like a Don? I said it looks like a Don. Oh, a Don. Right. Next thing you know, she's going to be putting up her kiss my ring. Mm Yeah, the interrupting thing got on my nerves as much as y'all's. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay, content. Uh, let's see. Okay. Took a smoke break, but we can do this. We can do this. I have some charms, but one of them I cannot show. Oh, I can't. Oh, trust, trust me. It can't be any worse than the. Oh, here. I'll show it to you right now. With the one I sent you? Yep. <laughs> you you got to do a full uh, screen, you know though. Uh, this uh, is something you know I, I, I can uh, get the plans to make if anybody wants it. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pull it up on my computer. You can see it directly. Jeff just sitting back in there trying to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. And then uh, Regina says, why not? Does, your, does she grace you with her presence? Jeff says, later. Take care, Jeff. Yeah, I get your name eventually. See, all I have to do is smoke a cigarette and it Take care, work. Jeff. I should smoke more. <laughs> this little tiny thing takes a little bit more than most braces. So. Uh, I'm hoping somebody does ask me to make a right. one day. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, 
Jewel says she can't show something. Okay, here you go. This is something that Cliff sent me yesterday. Oh, no. Window. <laughs> I have access to the tutorial to make it if anybody ever wants it. There you go. That's a nice pendant to have hanging around your neck, isn't it? Yeah, it's called a, believe it or not, they call it a ping dan. Oh, uh, what? Oh, yeah. A, a, a penis pendant. Ping dan. What's that? Uh, it's a penis. In wobbles. It's it's got the shaft and the head and the it goes like the that. Or it go like that? It, it, it's got the dangly bit hanging off the back end of it. I don't know if there's a way to make it, <laughs> it a little more. Chris, exciting, Chris says it looks but... it looks <laughs> like a dragon. Chris, Chris says it looks like it looks like a dragon. Bonbon. Oh, that's a dragon, Hello, all right. Bonnie. Hey, Bonbon. Bonbon, what are you up to? I'm not sure if there's a you're way back to make that. You're back to the elevator today. Yeah, we're using bits and pieces. Well, like Angela says, it's got dang dangly bits on it. Mm -hmm. Oh Lord! I, I don't know why some names stick with me. Some just slip right through, and it's nothing to do with what I think of the person. <laughs> Ooh, was uh, Bonnie says, I just got home. My mom came to work with me and helped me. She took me out to dinner. Oh, that's nice. Right. That was sweet. Cool, cool. Uh, man, I can't believe it. It's almost 15 to eight. Oh, Taffy, uh, some people do use these. They'll add a key ring and make it a keychain or a thing to hang off their purse or a zipper pull, all kinds of stuff. Hello, Chica. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong show. I said, John, what are you doing showing a yarn, a wooden yarn hook? <laughs> hey, that's probably for telling the future. Oh, shit, I'm so sleepy. I forgot I had Nancy on the other screen. I guess I'll just leave the damn door when the dogs won't close it behind them. <laughs> Well, it's great, Bonnie. Nice getaway. Yeah. I've had you in my thoughts, Bonnie, but most of them you wouldn't want to hear about. Little joke, little joke. Trying to decide which in whatever flag I'm going to do next. I just want to have examples of all the ones out there. This is what you could have if you wanted it. You ever had one of the dogs jump up on your desk and mess all that up? Uh, a couple times. But now I move the chair further away when I leave it. But I'll, what I hate is when there's either flies in here or skater eaters. Because you know how I keep them all perfectly lined up so that I can keep track of it. And then a skater eater or a fly will dive bomb and knock them all over the place. <laughs> this is me Gina, off. Gina said, got to turn the lights on. Got dark all of a sudden. She'll be right back. Chris said, Cliff, did we miss an opportunity with the 88 rings? What do you mean, to do a flag with them? Or something kinky? How would I overlook that one? Oh, Lordy. I mean, if it was in a flag, uh, there is a gray stripe flag. I think it stands for corrections officers and stuff, but the rest of it's still aluminum. Num, num. I may not be picking up what you're putting down, and that makes me the itch. You got a flag for butt nuggets? Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> it's fuchsia. <laughs> I have to press out of that color. <laughs>
Hmm. <laughs> actually, Chris, she said the pain band. No, it's uh, it's actually made up of probably bigger rings than those, and it's a couple, couple to three different size rings. <clears throat> probably even funnier if it could made it make it in, the, in an excited state, but I don't think you can do that with rings alone. You have to incorporate wire. Aren't butt nuggets hemorrhoids? Hey, <laughs> Regina said, "Aren't buck nuggets hemorrhoids?" No, them dingleberries. Hello, Lisa. I Hello, they were Lisa. Eggs, but... Hey, Lisa, how you doing today? Oh no, my computer won't load. I'm so glad it'll be almost. <clears throat> but then my dumb ass is gonna start another one. <sighs> No, I looked up the one for paramedics, John. Their stripe mm -hmm. is blue, white, blue, all in one stripe. So I could never do that one unless I made it absolutely huge. It's coffee time. Oh, that's always coffee time. I think you know another name for dingleberries is cliffhangers, and that used to be my nickname. Cliffhangers. <laughs> Moonrose, which I believe her name is Crystal. Today I I went and picked up three quartz gemstones. Damn. Yeah, there is ways where you can capture like stones and beads and stuff, but I. Uh, I'm scared to go in too many different directions. I've got a freaking oh. photograph what I've got. <laughs> I, read, I, I, I glanced over and I read that wrong. Uh, how, how did you read it? Today I'm wet and picked up three quarts. <laughs> oh, John. You're my oh. lost brother. Uh. Bonnie's on her phone. <laughs> oh, it's so bad. <laughs> so you, you cleaned up okay when you shave. When I when I shave everything off, I look like an idiot. I mean, just kind of, I mean, I don't look great to begin with, but I look odd. Well, see, so the thing is, is that when, when I shave, you can see how, like how shallow my face is right here. Mm hmm you can see my well my, my dimples uh -huh. right my dimples you can see my dimples when i smile right you can't i got a scar across here that you can't well, i can't see because it's right my chin line and I uh on on the side, and i got a, i got a, i got a scar down here that's not not very visible but it's there when i do that my vitil, right there my vitiligo goes on my chin so i'm not a big fan of it pretty much my whole head i'm not a big fan of and but uh you know it. If I do this though, I throw my hair. Th uh, let me just mess my hair up a bit here. There we go. It's like there we go. Look at look how sexy I am now. Eh? I'm, gonna, I'm moving to Canada. I need some big hunk of Canadian bacon. Jessica, you ain't said hi to me yet, or did I just miss it? Me ass. We don't want to talk to you. Yeah. You're bad for her. I'm bad for anybody with a breathing. That's what we heard. Hello, Angela. <laughs> Angela. You're laughing at me. Angela, you're laughing at me. Unbelievable. I like Charlie's joke where he said, I'm bringing sexy back because it didn't fit. <laughs> I want or playing, you, playing hard to gotta, want. You gotta, you gotta make sure you still got the original receipt for that, though. <laughs> Because the, the tags are on it. Damn, she gave, did my whole. I feel like I'm in trouble. She called me by my full name. Oh. I noticed a bunch of them said that last night. Hello, Cliff Deering, Charles. Hello, John. Jack. I'm doing a hey, thin Jack. red, thin Hello, red line Jack. flag. Put the thin blue on the side. 
I did not. Hey. I said to Kev. Okay, I'm sorry. Hey, Cliff, I got a question. <laughs> Uh-oh, I've got three answers. One of them might be the look I throw. We'll find out here in a moment. We need, to, we need to start a GoFundMe. I, I can't do it because I'm in Canada, and it's a pain in the ass doing a conversion over to the American oh. side. Who do you think would be the best person to start up a GoFundMe? Uh, He's not here. <laughs> We're talking Charles. Yeah. Well, I mean, what, what, what can you tell what the GoFundMe is about? Well, somebody else, somebody that we know needs need, needs a Starlink. Somebody that we know needs some better internet because because the area that they're in is same as you. It, it, it's in a shitty area. Yeah. And they're not able to do all their video stuff and everything else that, you know, they have helped us yeah. out in the past on, on our chats and our subs and our, our GoFundMe and our GoFundMe is everything else. I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie, uh, just for this person's sake, I did, uh, what's the word, sense a little bit of judgment from people that, well, are you begging on the internet kind of thing? <laughs> well, uh, well, yeah, but 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 in, in, in retrospect, though, as well, okay, the thing is, is, is I know, I know pe- pe- people feel... People feel overwhelmed, right? You know, because because of the yeah. time and society that we're in right now, people feel overwhelmed by asking for help all the time from other people all the time and everything yeah. else. But the thing is, is that the person I'm talking about has shown support to everybody else yeah. on the panel and in some of the people in the chat, right? Yeah. And and the thing is, it, it, is that I I think it's just one way for us to show our support back to her. Oh, I I definitely do, and I'll Lord knows uh, when I get some money i'll damn sure help because most people that help have needed help at some point so they understand or they're just exactly a person. yeah exactly and 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 for a person that 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 just you know does nothing but give and 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 show support for all of us yeah i think it's just one more way to show support back so we can help them achieve what their goals for what they want to do as well Honestly. Uh well because 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 I know people that will start GoFundMe's for for a carton of smokes and people that'll start GoFundMe's for like a tank of gas and people will start GoFundMe's yeah. for you know the, the stupidest things. Whereas this way it's just one more way to show support for somebody that supported us that needs support now yeah. to get themselves back up above water and then able to Hello, able to uh, you know help everybody else out. Well, I mean, I'll I'll damn sure support it. I'm not, I I don't even know who we're talking about, but I probably would still do it. <laughs> I can't think of anybody I wouldn't help, even if I don't like somebody. I'll help because people need to help sometimes, and it doesn't always have to be a family emergency or a medical emergency or a funeral cost. I I just like helping people, and I can rarely afford to financially. But, but by God, I'll do it when I can. Hey, China, how you doing today? You don't check your Facebook messengers. Hint, hint. <laughs> she just noticed your face. <laughs> I told you I was gonna shave. You probably don't didn't stop now. there. Don't like cute now. I'm not gonna be sick other. again. Uh, I'm. Well, yes, yes. The uh, the carpet, the carpet matches the drapes now. I'm helping him become a slut. <laughs> oh my God! What do you want, girl? Girl? Hmm. Is it that time? Now, John, I was just getting my own meal and the doggies did the cats' meals out of the way before I showed up. Hmm. You know you're spoilt, don't you, young lady? John, at least tell me on Messenger who we talking about. Thanks, Susie. Welcome back. There you go. Get your cookies. We got to get a Susie. Hello, Susie. Bet you she's never been sung that song with
Yeah, some people like those keychains I was showing last night. Some people will make them a little smaller and just use them as a zipper pull. A zipper pull? Yeah, to put on their Ooh. zipper. Cause it's easier hey, to everybody. On. Hello, Beth. Beth's in the house. Hello, Beth. Hi, Beth. How are you doing this evening? How are you doing? <laughs> Hi, <laughs> John Herbert. Kiff, Kiff, Kiff. My Kiff is spreading. Kiff. I'm going to have to get, get some meds for that. <laughs> I've got the Kiff. Oh, my God. Go oh, find me. Cliff. Yes, sir. You looking? Uh, yes, sir. I think I can help you out here, buddy. Oh, shit. You opening <laughs> a pharmacy? Herb Pharmacy and Soda Fountain, how can I help you today? So should we do to stay alive? No, they're not for you, honey. I know what yours is over in this jar. So if there's anybody out there that wants wants to friend me on Facebook, or you're on Facebook, there's my uh my personal page, my scroll, what if I could scroll page? So you can go in there and check out all the photos of everything you got it that are actual actual finished projects. I like that. Order whatever you want. Come it's on. All customized. It's all custom made. What? <laughs> finished projects. Best said I can't hang on because there are finished not... projects. Okay. And stay long because there's a auction tonight. How long? How long does it usually go for, Beth? Beth's gonna get some auction tonight. <clears throat> okay, that was funnier in my head. <laughs> I know, I know. Well, see, I I, boat, I tried. <laughs> I tried to watch her. <laughs> I tried to watch her, one of her auction shows the other day, or this morning. Yeah, this morning. Who's up? Uh, uh, it was two months ago when she scheduled. Are we talking about Beth has an auction or somebody else has yeah, a chance Beth. to beat it? No. All night long. All night long. You can do this. She's going to be up all night auctioning. My dogs are rattling. I don't know how much y'all can do. Well, what's, what's the, the uh, uh, send us the uh, information on that. We'll go check it out. Do you take out of you? I do it on shenanigans with Christiane and Leanne. There's a lot of ham in there. Is that on you? <laughs> Is that on YouTube? Hey, fan. Annie is now following you. I am going to smoke a priest <clears throat> and then do the last of the flag. Can y'all wrestle quieter, please? No. Sure. I was trying to be all assertive and stuff. I'm just glad to see them this happy. <laughs> Instead of walking around moping like their daddy. Shenanigans with Leanne and Christiane. Welcome to Shenanigans, where you'll enjoy cruising the YouTube streets with us. We bring you the good, the bad, the funny to your screen. You'll know what we will wreck you, wreck into while we're cruising around. Every live will be jam packed with something new and unusual. Why don't you just call it the Christian Leanigans? Because yeah, <laughs> it's all shenanigans. That's too many ands in one sentence. Shenan Leanigans. Oh, you know why? <laughs> okay. Oh, no. I, I, I just figured it out now. Okay. Because Leanne and Christy Ann. Are the she nanigans? Okay, that was a stretch, but I'll. 
no, it's, it. it's no, be, 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 because their their logo is basically small, like S H E N A N N. Because I like my, my joke names. better. I think, my yeah, joke I know it's funnier. <laughs> Auction night. So it's coming up in an hour and seventy-five. Here's the link for it. Yeah, here's the link for it. Did you say an hour and seventy-five? Okay, an hour forty-five. One point seven five hours. Is that better for you? Oh. (laughs) Oh, she gets up there too, and there's three. Well, no, your name's Beth. Screw us up on this. Bethanigan. Bethan. Bethanigan. He's a Bethanigan. There's a fucking echo in here. <laughs> no, 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 no. What, what, what are we talking about? about, about, about? Well, is it Beth Ann or Annabeth or Annabelle? 101 minutes. Okay, I gotta go back to the door. I'm smoking. You're getting me in trouble. I just sent the tape to mom. <laughs> she won't see it till later tonight. She's out pulling leads again. I think if I took my mom to a beach, she'd probably try to sweep it. Made do her good. <laughs> and then later she wonders why she's so damn sore. Yeah, Cliff, so what we're talking about earlier, like, right? Am I wrong? Sure. Not, exactly. a, not even a little. Y'all lost me. Uh, but about to go fund me for, for one of our members. For one of our circle of friends. John, you're OPS shaven. All right, Chris, what the fuck does that word mean? Yes, okay, I'm I'm very knowledgeable in in word verbiage. Oh, Lord, damn. And the chat's going quiet. Because I'm not there embarrassing us. Give me time, I'll be back. I'll be back, says Chris. I hope you like Oh, I get that. OPS. Okay. I get it now. <laughs> no, here's your sign. Oh, what was were... fun as hell. <laughs> oh, uh, Cliff, were you here earlier when we were, oh, when we were discussing the, the name of our new show? Uh, no. Our new crochet show. So we're going to go with Hooks, Whips, and Chains. Okay, so I helped with most of that. Yep. So it, 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 it's going to be an enticing crochet journey. <laughs> well, I, I would say a unique. Or... Is Cliff going to be the whip or the whippy? Hi. <laughs> John will be the hooker. Well, I can make chains, so what can call me the chainer. Chain, chain, chain. Yeah, I did that last night too. (laughs) 
And Beth says, my middle name is Ann, too. LOL. One of my sister's middle name is Ann. It sure ain't. <laughs> Been a while since you're doing that, too. <clears throat> yeah, I got to watch it because uh, radar back at the house. You don't want her to call the people, give you a hug me for every decade. Regina says, y'all start using whips and chains. I'm out. <laughs> hey, you know you'd still watch. <laughs> watch that. <laughs> Yeah, look at the grin she's got after that, though, eh? Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, spank me, Daddy. What? No way. Who said that? <laughs> she said, what the well, hell? hell yeah, she said. <laughs> <laughs> what the Oh, yeah, Regina was actually Regina was actually typo. You meant to say, "I'm getting mine out." <laughs> what? Uh, Time for me to leave. Uh huh. I can see your herb is in the stream audio only. That's what I love about Regina. She don't pretend to be something she ain't. That's why I love all about our women. Most of which are friggin' spoken for. Except at least one I know. I may have may or may not have proposed to her last night. I don't remember most of last night. I was sober. Oh. I'm not going to bump into something. You, can you hear that, John? The dog wrestling? No. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's adorable, even. literally right under me you were gone all the time Chef what does that mean so now I'm to Chef to Chef what, 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 what do you mean I was gone all the time why am I talking like this Oh, you can call me anything but late for bedtime. Yeah, yeah, and I don't mind sleeping. I can do without dinner. So what but do you, you mean I was, But you can never go without dessert. But you can never go without dessert. No, I cannot. And I've had to make my own dessert for ten months now, and I'm about tired of it. <laughs> yeah, poorness probably enters into that too. <laughs> Whatever woman wants, a guy with anxiety issues, is on disability, <laughs> lives on his mama's <laughs> compound. I have to beat him off with a stick, and I don't mind the good beating off either. Hello, pudding. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Regina. Because <laughs> uh, you can make it in a hurry at the last minute when you really need it. Well, if it's ever somebody else doing it, I'd probably go up like a broken fire hose and be the best 10 seconds of my life. 
I don't know about theirs. But at least I'll be okay. What the hell? Shut up. Get out of my store. Probably my mama putting up her weight pulling stuff and she slams every door like they're all stuck. I would think a, a Twinkie would be more accurate with their routine. What the hell have I done? <laughs> I know you did it. Beth uh, did it in that. Uh, okay. Regina said, well, after 10 seconds, you just start all over. <laughs> Beth oh, said, Beth. sorry, I'm quiet, but I'm sanding someone's wood. I know she worded it that way on purpose. She's over there like, tee hee, I bet. I know women. I've seen some. But as y'all can see, I can put a ring on it. There's a lot of rings. Okay, that was stupid. What the? Man, I am Stone Cold Stupid. I'm Stone Cold Steve Austin, awesome, damn it. <clears throat> Hell yeah. <laughs> Brother! I'm Bulk Hogan. Oh, I've been meaning to tell you, John. My, you know, there's some southern sayings that make everybody laugh. My, my Bob, my Bobby, my uncle Bobby is one of them. The other day, he said, uh, it basically if somebody pisses you off, he said, "Well, I'd shoot him full of shit and then hang him for snaking." <laughs> and he said, "My, my plumber friend told me the secret to being a plumber is remember shit don't roll up hill and paydays on Friday." Yes, you had to be there. Yep. Bless your heart. <laughs> You're texting already. Hey, Regina laughed, even if it was at me. <laughs> sympathy laughed, sympathy laughed. Of course I did, but I really am sanding. Sure you are, Beth. I think it was funny. Though. When you're finished sanding, don't forget to polish it. At least the tip. Polish that wood to a nice high gloss. The knob, if you will. And you will. Make sure you start at the tip and work your way down the shaft, though. Welcome to Sesame Street, Canada style. After is good for the soul. So is orgasms. Just saying. Especially assisted ones. Chris is back, kneeling. Mr. Kneeling. Yeah, if anybody's desperate and at the end of the rope and willing to settle for just about nothing, hit me up. If anybody cares, I'm back. I care. Welcome back, man. Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. I'm a thing, dude. Chris said, wow, John Scroll. I've been scrolling almost the whole show, Chris. Yeah, where have you been? <laughs> yeah, where have you been? 
anybody who's anybody has been in PR. This is a woods I'll, growing show. You know that, right, Chris? <laughs> best that I'll stain or paint it, and then a clear coat that's nice and smooth. It'll still need buffed, though, or fluffed, if you will. And you will. What? <laughs> One more row of rings and I am finished. And I'm literally one ring short to take that out. That's just bullshit. There must be another live on too, or everybody just. Uh, Nancy's on right now. Oh, that will do it. Nancy's on, Dot and Elaine are on. I still. See what I did there? Oh. Excuse me. Lord have mercy, Jesus. And I'm here just in audio only. Hear, you know what hear. you do on John Cho, don't you? Scroll on. Oh, that's Charlie. Sorry. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Just do it. Oh, wait. That's Adidas. No, it's Nike. <laughs> Where's that silly buns? What the... Yeah. Uh, Regina said there for a second I thought John had a bottle of woo on his table. I don't even know what woo is. Woo! That sounds intriguing. <laughs> Jessica said I'm here just playing with yarn. You're still undoing that cluster beep yarn? No, she, she finished that. Oh, uh, okay. Chris going to check the chickens. Chris going to piss on his chickens. Regina, what's a bottle of woo? I don't know, but woo oh. Oh, you're talking my, <laughs> you're talking my, my, my loco. Oh, wooed. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Hey, I got a place to put a sticker. Ah. I happen to have stickers. Ooh. Stop Ooh. it. I'm trying to focus, <laughs> asshole. No, that's for a ball of woo. <laughs> woo -hoo. Christina says, I don't have chicken, but I'm checking them anyway. <laughs> so in other words, you're going to go dehydrate there, Chris? You're going to piss on the neighbor's chicken. And take that. What does this taste, honey? Thank goodness I can blow the pickup. What? Regina said. God bless the mother of God. Oh, the ship's at sea. Wee wee. <laughs> Don't rain on the animals. <laughs> You're so silly, though. For real. Chris is thinking he's Italian now. <laughs> Don't let the rain on the animals. I'm French. I was at Somebody work with me here. You guys remember us talking about, talking about that wedding sign that she needed for October? Well, yeah. she, just messaged me. she just messaged me now, so. Wedding I'm off. <laughs> I, might, I might have to finish it up for tomorrow, right? Oh, shit. We're moving it up if they have rain in October. I know well, I got a little. I year. couldn't understand the difference between uh, moving it up and moving it back. It just didn't register. Go and get it. And I know, I, I know, I know. I got at least another year to finish this one up. 
I also didn't know the difference between canceled and postponed, but that was last Thursday. Right, I got a year to finish this one up, so I can give it to her for birthday next year. Yep. You might just make it. See, that's the biggest thing I did on the first two. I showed up. Yep. Don't you pee on my thing. Regina, you're not Please. supposed to let it rain down in Africa. Let's see what you did there. Hey, Sandra, how you doing? Hello, Sandra. Hello, oh, Sandra. Sandra. Karma, Karma is a bitch. Is a bitch. You bitch. may come back as a chicken. Can you imagine birthing an egg every day and having a rooster after you all the time? <laughs> well, if you reverse the, the sexes, I'd probably enjoy the hell out of that. Well, what? Regina, 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 there's a couple. There's a couple ways you can you can do that. Uh, you can make it sound, you know, because you, you know how I am. I can make anything sound sexual. Yeah. Karma's a bitch. You can, you, 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 can, you can come back as a chicken. Can you imagine? Karma's a bitch. She's pregnant, and you the daddy. What? What? Could you imagine pushing out butt nuggets all day long and having a cock after you all the time? <laughs> Welcome to John After Dark. No, it's just, I, I just read the same thing she did. Why was it so much hotter than before? Okay, I gotta finish this up for tomorrow now. <laughs> nice, yeah, I got a project to do now. Well, that's... that's... A little messed up to move it up quite that much. I know she's lying just to get you to finish it. One more ring and I'm done with this bitch. What? What? Hello, Sandra. I do wish my, well then again, no I don't. I was going to say I wish my vendor had more colors, but if he did, it cost me 30 more bucks per color. Already breaks me trying to get all of them. One size ring colors. Okay, there's your thin red flag. Well, you're the one I wanted to do it. Yes, sir. <sighs> I didn't mean thin red flag, I meant in red line, but burp. And it's time for one of those cigarette things. Oh, it ain't so. Oh, it ain't so. I could turn anything into a song. Getting dark outside, must be an eclipse. What? When? Yesterday. Gotcha. Okay. Most importantly, why? And who? I'm not there to read comments. I will in a minute when I finish feeding my face. Okay. Thank you. Be right back. I got wash my dishes. Been soaking. 
good stand-up man right there. Says Regina. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was here complimenting you for washing your own dishes. <laughs> I do wash the dishes around this place. <laughs> What's funny is I said he's a stand-up guy. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a stand-up guy. I'm a guy that sits in a damn wheelchair. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, I'll see you in hell. You know, it's, it's fun to make... You can make fun of the handicap. We make fun of y'all, you kid-walking bastards. <laughs> I used to have a friend that was confined to a wheelchair for his whole life, and somehow he got... Charged and sentenced for molesting his daughter. He's in a wheelchair. He was a bassist in a Christian band. I don't get it. It was BS. She probably got pissed off at her dad. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time, but somehow he got convicted. That was quite a few years ago, man. Yeah, you can get convicted easily. Yeah. I remember you know? being in a parking lot one time. It was after a place closed, and a, what, it was a bunch of us teenagers at the time. And this girl said, maybe we'll just come up with Jeff. Uh, maybe Jeff will give us a ride. And uh, some girl said, what if he says no? She said, I'll say he raped me. Yeah. Glad, glad you can joke about that. Uh. I think any girl that ever falsely accuses and is proven so should get the exact same punishment that a rapist. Damn Hello, Connie. Glad you could join us. Hello, Con Con. Con Con. Monk. Yeah, my grandson one time told me, here, you can't spank me. I said, you want to watch? And I'll <laughs> dial the phone number after I beat your little ass. <laughs> I'll dial it while I'm beating your ass. Well, yeah, because 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 the thing is, oh, I'm gonna call child help phone. Yeah, well, I was like, okay, tell you what, dial it now because it's gonna take them 15 minutes to get here. What do you think's gonna happen in the meantime? I'm gonna play you and I. We got a bon bon, a con con, a don don. Hello, Liv. Good evening, Hello, everyone. So I'm out hey, in the Liz. casino. Enjoy the night. Hello, You're in a casino Liz. watching John scrolling. How bad is that? You're not winning then, apparently. <laughs> Yes, you are. She's, about to share. <laughs> she's winning by coming into the panel and show it, talking to us. Coming to share the wealth. <laughs> Angela says, oops, doink. Wink. Yeah, broke a freaking blade. It's been a while since I broke a blade. I'll tell you because I've been crocheting. <laughs> oh, no. You mean I'm going to break blades tomorrow? <laughs> Pro well, uh, probably. Be. I won't break any. I promise. <laughs> But it's so hard to change the blades. Yeah, we'll I figure got, something out for you. Somebody's got the, a long time. <laughs> and he says, I'm sorry, Johnny Jinx. I was just thinking about asking you if you ever break blades. And then it broke. She jinxed you. Oh, somebody got dinged. Binkies. You want me to blow a load on your dice? I mean... What? <laughs> Just for good luck, though. Yeah. <laughs> ah, these dice That's are probably, loaded. <laughs> that was probably a little overboard. I almost apologize for that. Well, welcome back. Thank you. It's good to be here. Oh, she, she started a new anagrammy. Oh, my groomy. Oh, no. so. You know, somebody forgot to remind me to take my pills. It's seven o'clock. Friggin' oops. That reminds me, I gotta take a pill. Kill pill. No, it's not a chill pill. If I took a chill pill, I'd be asleep in an hour. I could do that if everybody would shut the hell up. Well, there ain't, but, there ain't but one thing stopping you. My pill? 
hit that little red X. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll have no friends. Well, I gotta clean the inside of this shop, put all the stuff back from putting up the interwebs. I have too many voices in my head. Don't you hate when you get in a fight with yourself? You don't know who to root for, but you know you're gonna sleep with the winner. Probably give him a reach around. Did I say all that out loud? Yep. What? Nope. <laughs> Come on, Buster, my friend. Come on. Bonnie says, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine what that was about. <laughs> I'm not, oh, I'm not paying attention. Chris Nealon said, crap, drop my PB&J on the couch. Well, you should have landed. You should have landed bread side up, regardless. Yeah, I was gonna take care of it. Yes, like I said, it had to be around six thirty a.m. Well, it was uh, six thirty my time, so it would have been seven thirty your time when we stopped. Are you talking about when we stopped? <clears throat> yeah, you were gonna go outside and show us the. Cardinals. China says, "I real one." Bonnie is in the building. What? Huh? <clears throat> and then, hey, China, didn't you talk about? I can't remember to save my life. You said something about ordering something yesterday. I don't even know if you were serious, but I can't remember for the life of me what it was. As, yeah, as, as, long, as long as you had lime green. No, I, t I, I thought she said I'll still. But kind of, yeah, we were up till like, I was up till 7.30 my time. I was on the lives until 6 something. Jessica says, okay. 7.30 early. Connie said, wow. Don't stay up that late. Usually I only stay up that late if I'm trying to finish an order or three in time to get it out in that day's mail. But I was just having too much fun to go to sleep. Well, that's me. I'll get over. I can be sleepy. Just all get out and go over and get in a chair and fall asleep for 30 minutes and wake up and I'm up. Yep. The only reason I woke up when I did today is when the, the beagle needed out. And I just figured, well, it's, I should probably go ahead and stay up. <laughs> Tell him some growth and thumbs and uh, open the door himself. <laughs> now he was never house trained, and I'm I'm pleasantly surprised that he comes and. Excuse me, father. <laughs> Can you let me out? <laughs> if you don't get up right now, I'm gonna make a mess. <laughs> no, it's cute because he just puts his little big old head on the on the. He puts his front paws on the bed and then the, his head on the bed, and you hear a little tiny whimper. Like, I don't mean to wake you, but I'm going to shit all over the place if you open this door. <laughs> oh, God, the dogs are talking. I'm, <laughs> I need to change my meds. Oh, no. I was supposed to take that pill. <laughs> okay, where was I at? I don't guess China's listening to me, or she's... She's ignoring you. Trying to let me down easy. <laughs> let me oh, this Aluminum can-ass ring. Shut up. It's time for a commercial. You have 25 people watching. If you got any comments, questions, or inquiries, please leave them in the chat. If nobody in the chat has an answer, I'm glad we get clipped to Google it. This message was brought to you by Wood, if I could, or Yarn, if I would. And Chris would like to know if, uh, oh, and if you have any complaints, please feel free to shove them up your uh, 
comment section. Chris said, is it normal for my bread to have white fuzzies? It is. That's the new penicillin flavor. Connie uh -huh. says, our beagle sleeps with us, and if he needs to get up, he lays across me, so I know he needs you. I would let the beagle up on the bed with me because there's no room in it for me anyway with the dog splashing up against my sides, but I'm thinking the other dog would start growling at him all night, with, you know, sharing attention. So he's a big lug, and I love that little prick. And you said the other day that, you know, a pure breed, pure bread, something like that has a white tip on her tail. He does. I can fix that. <laughs> Make the book. Okay. I think I got everything checked. I got to make sure I take a camera out there with me tomorrow, John. That would do go, go better for our life. Herb is in the chat. <laughs> Audio only. <laughs> All we hear is the cussing and the blades break. I'd be okay. safer that way. <laughs> Welcome to the shit point. Damn it, show. With Herb and them. Oh man, I'm fading fast. I'm going to regret it, but I don't know how much longer I'm going to be able to hang. And I'm going to end up being up all. Well, you can hang as long as somebody will come cut you down. Connie would like to know what time tomorrow, Herb. I think we're going to do this at uh, what time, John? 12? Whenever you want. I think I'm gonna have to call Twelve Central. Home. Twelve your time would be one o'clock. So you one o'clock your time. Yeah. John, is this an all nighter line? Yeah, we'll do it at twelve. Why who's asking? No, I'm curious if, if I go to sleep and happen to sleep. Wake up in a wet dream. <laughs> I can tell with you. All my dreams are wet. Thinking about my little Canadian back uh, I don't ex <laughs> Are you freaking serious? <laughs> <laughs> Johnny won't be home until after one. Just threw me right off that. <laughs> you know you, you did good when you throw thinking. John off. I said I always have wet dreams when I wake uh, when I think about my little Canadian back <laughs> Hey, I, got, I got stuck in towels too, buddy. I just don't tell a lot of people. I just told the whole world. Yeah. I'm just curious if I go to sleep, if you'll still be on when I get up. But I doubt it. But hopefully somebody will. Well, you know, Connie, we, it's usually about 20 minutes before we get started actually scrolling. Bonnie, you know, love me. It's just one of those things you have to put up with with me. Bonnie says this C is on the 11 or 12 Central. And I will catch y'all later or tomorrow or somewhere. Oh, you're leaving? Uh, you're leaving? Yeah, I can't. I just can't keep my damn eyes open. Well, well you, you just said you were going to go make coffee. You should have stayed up all freaking night long then. I did make coffee. <laughs> I've had... <laughs> Five cups now, and it's not. I could fall asleep while drinking coffee. Mm. I may just end up with a nap. I don't know. I didn't mean to ruin your Black Panther party. There's 28 people watching right now. Holy cow! I can't believe it. Thanks, Fine, everybody. I'll stay, bastard. I don't know what I'm gonna. I'm probably just gonna sit here and read comments. It's not too much. Oh, good. Read comments. Okay, Bonnie says good night, Kev. Jessica says good night, Kev. <laughs> 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 and Bonnie and Bruce, she loved me. Cliff, Cliff, trust me, it, it, it would not be the first time that somebody fell asleep on the show. <laughs> oh, God, Chris, I think it has a joke. The lady went to the chemist and bought some Nair hair remover at the tail. Farmers has told her if you're going to use this under your arms, don't use your arm for a few days. I'm sure there's more, right? That's all he could top. Oh, yeah, it's got a character limit. 
<laughs> Who fell asleep on your show? Uh, you fell asleep on my show. Russ fell asleep. Freaking Charles fell asleep. John fell asleep. Uh, I've never fallen asleep on my show. Um, <laughs> who else? Uh, I know uh, John Bradley almost fell asleep, but he freaking was. He woke himself up before, like, because his head was bobbing down when he was at a scroll <laughs> saw, and it, he he woke himself up. He's like, "Okay, guy, I, I gotta go to bed." He almost fell asleep while he was scrolling. Chris Nealon said, "The lady said, I'm not using it under my arms." The pharmacist said, "If you're using it on your legs, don't shave for a couple of days." The lady replied, "I'm not using it on my legs either." Johnny says, I hate Nair. It burns the crap out of you. I've always wondered if there was a, a hair, hair remover for fellas in a certain zone. Caught a razor. Well, yeah, yeah but there's, there's a... That makes me nervous. Let's just put it that way. I mean, I've done it, but it didn't always go so well. Get a weed whacker out. Yeah. <laughs> Why well, you look like you got... Chewbacca in a damn leg lock. And he says that crap stinks to high heaven. And Chris says, I'm not using it on my legs either. If you must know, I'm using it on my schnauzer. Of course, you know, Chris has got to tell a schnauzer joke. Blame the cliff. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. <clears throat> uh, isn't that going to hurt a little bit? I think I'd rather use an air. Then again, I'd probably rather use a flamethrower. The pharmacist says, uh, well, stay off your bicycle for about a week. <laughs> yeah, don't put an air near the sausage and titers. I didn't figure so, but I was wondering <laughs> if there's something that, that will work there. Uh, make me hungry, and I've already oh, eaten. God. Y'all going to make me smoke more because you made me stay awake. Oh, yeah, it's our fault. Blame us. Yeah. It's always I'm our just saying, fault. blame us. I'm going to smoke while I think about who else to blame. Then I'll need somebody to read my comments for me. You know, Cliff, if you want, you can blame it on the rain. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> or or Nair, if you say it backwards. No, that'd be Ryan. Never mind. Nair. Nair? Blame it on the Nair. Nair? Nair? <laughs> The near beer? There's paper near got me wet. Some bitches. What? Oh my god, my, vir- my, 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 my virginity ears. Even your nose <laughs> blows. Treasure Hunter News and Reviews is live right now at the Black River Tavern in Soha, Minnesota. Who? No, Miss T is, li- Miss T is live. Uh, the rooftop in Savannah. She's at like a uh, uh, Miss T's at like a uh, a vlogger convention right now. So oh, she's meeting a lot of, she's meeting up with a lot of online people. Uh, it's Shannon Crafty uploaded massive collective hall, Dollar Tree hall, Walmart hall, Walmart denim hall. However, go. Steve said, I won't feel a thing if you use a flamethrower. And Charlie said she used snare all the time when needed. And now I'm really smoking. I was I was actually smoking, but nobody was reading the comments, so I thought I'd come to a public service by leaving. <laughs> oh, uh, China used nair all the time, just for the legs, or she's lying. What? <laughs> I freaking I I used it once on my chest and freaking. It burned, and that's why it did not get all the hair off. So then I had to shave it off, and it was just so itchy. I remember when I was younger. One time, I got some of that icy hot, and I put a little dab on my finger. And thought, you know, it'd be kind of cool to have my nuts feel all warm. That shit burned so bad. And I know I, I didn't rub it all in. I dabbed it, and I was thinking, <laughs> the second I did it, I nearly puked. It hurt so bad. That's as bad as rubbing Tiger Bomb. In, in, like, 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 grab some Tiger Bomb, put it on your hands, or in, 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 rub it in your arm or, or your legs that are hor- sore, and then go and then and then go into the bathroom without realizing it's still on your hands. I made I made Harneal Media LMAO. That's hard to do. No, I yeah, didn't sit there and like rub it in like a lotion. I just literally rub it in, a, rub it in. I, I put a dab on my finger and then went. Oh my god! And that that burned until I was cussing in other languages. And that was well, just course, one spot. 
if I had the rubbed it is, in, I I don't think I'd be here today. The question is, did you ever do it again? Oh no, well, I learned from it. Bonnie's oh, gonna wow. face palm so many times she's gonna have a dent in her head. <laughs> Even Jack is laughing at me. Hey, I, I trust you all. That's why I'm. <laughs> And it was, if I had rubbed it in like a lotion, holy shit, I'd have changed religions or sexes. You might have been a, Cla a Claudia instead of a Cliff. <laughs> Clarice. <laughs> uh, Jesus well, do that with jalapeno. That'll set you on fire. No, that's, no, I can't imagine having rubbed it. I know it's just a single dab. Oh. <laughs> well... <laughs> Jack said I never wanted a tea bag, a jar of ice, and a hot. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Chris. Uh, Chris said Thermacare on the nut, just <laughs> like napalm nut. Apparently, somebody like else. Napalm, yeah. There he says, Cliff. That's as bad as grabbing the vice instead of the Vaseline in the jar. <laughs> oh my God! No, I, I. It was single, bloop, and then that was enough to make me nearly puke. Oh, yeah. And you getting a wash rag with water did not work to make it feel any better. <laughs> no, because it makes it worse. Oh, yeah. I think I was, what, 15, 16? Oh, I don't good God. at the time. You know how hot Strippy is, don't you, John? What's that? Strip easy. Yep. <laughs> I still can't believe I made... I was Neil doing a podium at a car dealership, and somehow or another, you know, I had gloves on using them, but somehow or another, <laughs> it still got on my hand. I went in there and hit the, the latrine. <laughs> All you could hear was screaming. <laughs> Me standing in front of the sink, trying to wash this stuff off. Salesman come in there and asked, he goes, what in the hell? Ten minutes later. He's in there doing the same thing. I can tell you one thing. I've never wanted warm nuts since that day. Hot and it's nuts. sad when something hurts so bad you feel like you're going to puke. Chris says, 24 something. viewers are now screaming. <laughs> I got 26. I got 27. <laughs> I got herpes. That's what we heard. That's a joke, by the way. Is that Doug or Will's... Uh... Hello, Doug. Hello, Doug. I can Doug. only see the avatar and I can only see the colors of it. Clifford. Hey, Doug, did you ever get your black cock you're looking for? <laughs> uh, hey, Doug, I got my Starlink, homie. I'm up and running. Chris and I am proud to have run this show off the rails. Chris, <laughs> we don't need your help. <laughs> but it don't hurt none. Not like I see hot. Hey, now I got a story for the for the lives. Yay. Regina said something. Jekka said something. Probably saying hi to Doug. Oh, God. You can read that comment, Cliff. I'm on my way. I'll read anything once. Uh, Regina says, I just now realized what that sound is. I thought there was a dog under the table growling. I must be nuts or terribly sheltered. <laughs> it's John working. <laughs> uh, I couldn't get past the first four words. <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill the messenger, John. Oh. Sometimes my nuts growl under the table, too. I find you. <laughs> Never mind. Especially if I put Icy Hut on it. How's that working for you, Cliff? It's actually working. Oh, my God. Doug, as a matter of fact, on Messenger, I'll show you the speed differences. I didn't even know how bad <laughs> my internet was until I saw this. Yeah, you didn't know how bad it was until you actually saw it. Yeah. Growling nuts, says Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let me go dehydrate. I'll be back in a minute. Okay. No, I mean, it, it's it's 
Holy shit, different. <sighs> growling nuts. Yeah, that's uh, Regina's growling nuts. Okay, now I'm smoking again. Oh, look, there's a tune bug in here already. Maybe you shouldn't smoke, dumbass. Hey, hi. I'm getting another damn fight with myself. Larry says, guys, I'll see you later. Take care, Larry. Tune in tomorrow. There's going to be more laughter. And <laughs> when Cliff finds a new lotion. <laughs> Yeah, I, I will not consider my balls a joint from now on. I'm just so glad I didn't rub it all in and shit. Not Larry. Uh, it'll probably be on John's channel, Jessica. I'm only, uh, Doug, I'm only so technically minded when it comes to that, but I hadn't heard any negative things about it. It sucks. The new router. I got me a $60 router, and I may not even need it. But yeah, it's like, God, it went unbelievable. Yeah, like a Volkswagen to a rocket. It was crazy. A pocket Volkswagen. Why does it always got to be a Volkswagen? I don't know, because it's a German. Um, really? Well, I, it may help that I live in one room, Doug. I don't know. And I mean that sincerely. China says back pain. Ugh, oh, I, I get it. If I stand for more than 10 minutes, my back is killing me. And at work with that? Holy crap. I'm down for a couple days. That's one reason why I get up to smoke so much, because I can't sit. Well, I've had this conversation. Doug says we had uh, trouble oh. due to Wi-Fi through Starlink. Was that the amount of devices or amount of people or what, Doug? Because it's literally just me using it. And the Wi-Fi signal distance went in exponentially greater. Uh. It's like I'm in a whole new world. <laughs> It did tank every time, so we added a router, a second router. I do have a second router. I just don't know if I need it in my situation. Good Tiger Bomb. Tiger Bomb, John? Says Chris. Yeah. Did you rub it in? Yeah. Rub it in? Winning. That's what I did there. <sighs> Well, I, I again want to sincerely thank everybody that helped me get this. It's it's uh, it's so awesome. I never even knew my I knew my internet was shit, but I didn't know it was literally under a pile of shit. Hello, Lydia. Lydia, oh, Lydia. Hello. why did I get rid of you? Hello, Lydia. Hey, Lydia. How are you this, how you this evening? How are you doing tonight? Tonight, tonight, I'm on my way. You set me free. Okay, oh, it. sweet. Hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, I love Good night. Good night. What? Yeah, Doug, uh, Doug said, I almost said jug. No, just using the Wi-Fi would tank it, so we purchased the wire adapter from Starlink to put a router in between. Yeah, I heard that they didn't even use to have Ethernet ports on This one's got two Ethernet ports on it. And it's, uh, I can show you pictures of everything if you're interested. But yeah, I've, I, I hadn't heard any negative things about this one. But uh, it, yeah, I guess I'll be okay until we hear different. Oh, Lordy. Yes, yes, I may have. How may I help you, my son? Would have been a little funnier if I hadn't tripped all over trying to say it. My well, Jess is still here? But she's quiet. I only really see oh, her when she's right. saying hi to somebody or laughing at my stupid jokes. Well, you know, because well, you know China's here, so they're 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 probably they're probably in the background on some other video chat. Well, that's all I needed is for her to finally be paying attention when I tell the icy hot story. 
<laughs> Connie, Connie says, says I'm listening. Yeah, go ahead. Connie says I'm listening while editing the tomorrow <laughs> video for tomorrow night. What? Well, hey, is anybody? You get a message, Cliff. Uh, I did. See, I didn't hear it. Uh, see any now? Oh, shut up. The dogs heard it. Why couldn't you? Buster? Don't make me knock you across the head. That's what I thought. Me too. I haven't left this playing with my yarn. That's what they call it now, yarn? She's playing with the yarn. Okay, what news it what? I haven't left just playing with my yarn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the, <laughs> it's a good thing you didn't call it a yarn hole or a yarn uh, bowl. I'm playing with my yarn bowl. <laughs> wow. It is, is your second gen, Doug, or, or, uh, or third? Mine is third. Uh, yeah, if, if I have any uh, issues, it, it'll be good to know about this. That's why you was one of the ones I wanted to talk to about all this. I was jumping back and forth. So you're a you're a live hopper. Let's see how you are. Well, not I am. <laughs> oh, I only have first. one Ethernet on the bottom. Yeah, we got we got two on the back of this. If you want, I can take a picture of it real quick and send it to a messenger front and back. I'm talking about the router, you perv. No, we don't need to see the front or back of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell, I'll just do that anyway. I'm pretty, pretty sure since y'all are twins, we've seen enough Charles. No, we're twins from the eyebrows up. <laughs> of course you are. The John Freeze? Or did nope, I? I'm here. I'm here. Are you using, using mid sentence and just stop? Oh, did I? Sorry. Yeah. I'm here. Uh, right now it's just. Sorry. 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 It's just sitting on top of her printer right now. Doug is why it looks so odd. Okay, I missed it. Uh, now someone needs to turn. Uh, who turns needs to make John a yarn ball. So he don't lose his yarn balls. Well, we got Chris in the chat. He's a turner. Doug's a turner. Billy's a turner. Billy, Billy's a hell of a turner. And, uh, Cliff, he turns stomachs. Yeah, yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. I make I make women in the bed with me turn over, and I'll, I'll leave it at that. Uh, Jessica's hanking up yarn. Well, you're not supposed to do that with the yarn. <laughs> I'm hanking up to a hundred yards. Uh, you have blank yarn. Uh, I'm gonna blank. hank. <laughs> He's hankering for a hunk of cheese. Hey. I, was, I had to go through my head. I, I could remember how it went, though. Chris said a bowl for his balls. I'm a hankering for a hunk, of, hunk of cheese. Hey, hunk Joe. Of how's it going today? Hello, Joe. Hello, Joe. Yo, Joe. I remember. I, I went into half the battle. I have one. Just uh, like that, dude. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> no, the, the brand I ended up buying, Doug, because a lot of people said I needed it was, I'd never even heard of Microtech or something like that. Doug said, I don't believe whoever said that. I don't know what that part would be. Spell it. 
IT. <laughs> I'm going to try to get clipped for it and tell the whole damn thing. I don't know it. I see. It's weird, these headphones. I feel like I can hear stuff outside of them, but I don't even hear notifications on my phone because I'm on the computer. It's crazy. Hello, Adele. Hello, Adele. Punch hey, you your arm. Eyes in the bushes. And how are you this fine evening? Hey, Dell. Oh, you would. How did I get two crappy ladies on? Hey, hey, darling. How you would? What's your name? Who's your daddy? Ghost is getting us all in one swoop. I don't make content yet, but... Well, I make content, I just don't put it on my YouTube. Uh, and I don't I make content, it. I just can't tear it out. <laughs> As I just get to spend many, 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 many hours cropping John's videos for when you can see me working. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it'd be easier if I... I can clip them for you if you want. Well, the only thing that concerns me, like I said, is people aren't going to want to see me just picking up and messing with the rings and doing the work back here. I'm self-conscious about my gut. I'm, I'm better when I'm part of a crowd. I'm not real sure if I'll be great in front of the camera by myself. Beth Cliff, says, yes, sir. That is not a gut. That is a fuel tank for a smoking machine. <laughs> well, then it's, uh, somebody needs to siphon it. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. Where am I at? Uh, yeah, that one. John, I'm sure you'll be comfy over where I sell because there's any window there too. Sometimes, dude, wait me. What? In your windows, yeah. I, I, I said Let that. Let me look at that again. <laughs> hey, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> Ever wonder why turners are for wood and spinners are for yarn? <laughs> yeah, uh, excuse me. I hope <laughs> Honestly, if you ever seen a spinning turner, you're the worst guy around. What are you making? I'm making a ball. In my pants. In my mouth. Ugh. I'm pretty sure you ignored it. one of them ceramic mugs. What look like snot coming out the nose? <laughs> yep. <laughs> my dad used to have one that, uh, it was a topless woman inside of it, so once you drank some of your drink, you saw her. They drank his stuff really fast. I don't know why. Hello again, Larry. Hello again, Larry. A boogie. <laughs> boogie? Doug boogie, said boogie. A boogie. Make me hungry, Doug. What? You disgusting asshole. It's protein. Toretto. I've got too many voices in my head over here. Tell <laughs> them shut up. I hear Nancy and Pam. Jack said, don't be embarrassed of your gut. My doctor told me to watch my weight. I am trying to get it out there so I can see it. <laughs> no, it, I think it's because I, I almost look like a skinny dude that somebody chunked a gut on. It's just, I don't know. Maybe it's because I'm single and it makes me more self-conscious. You know what You know what else it's called, don't you, Cliff? Uh, dicky do. That's it. It's just well, you'd be like way you down to nail from the 
with the carrying case. <laughs> Wait, say that again. I, I was talking in the beginning of your sentence. Didn't work. It's not a six pack, it's a 12 pack. See the carrying handle? <laughs> it's a keg. <laughs> <laughs> it's a keg. So you can spigot. it. That's where you figure about. So, uh, see, some of my gut is also just bloat because I just air up and then I eventually it goes away. So if I don't get on camera unless I have to. Well, then what the hell use is it? <laughs> no, she's, she's relating with me. I was talking about her, though. No, I, I, I just can't do it like this. I was hoping when I mounted this camera up here that it, it would it would catch everything. <laughs> I hide the Peter. <laughs> but yeah, most of mine is actually bloat. I, I wake up looking very thin. Then the day happens. <laughs> Billy done lopped over my belt buckle. Or chest of drawers disease. Just them belt on my drawers. Or Ed Zachary disease, where your face look Ed Zachary like you had. I'll be here all week if you need me. You can take that job. Our tool shed said Larry. Shit. There ain't no tools in the shed. That's I the damn problem. I forgot to deflate the raft before I put it in. I bet you we could make a nun turn pervy if she was in here long enough. If she didn't have any choice but to read. Well, we can make an angel. We can make an angel blush. <laughs> I made a Steve LMAO. That was that was. I call that an accomplishment. I've I've seen him chuckle, but I ain't never seen him crack up. That self-deprecating humor works every time. Ben said, "It's your workbench." LOL. Oh my God, I gotta I gotta make this into a pattern. What's that? <laughs> Uh, it's word on word. Oh, babe, I'm, I'll make it word on word. It says, I'm going to work on being less condescending. Condescending means to talk down to people. Um, Beth says, I'm a pastor's a preacher's daughter. Or maybe that explains it, LOL. That'll definitely do it. But. Well, you know, some of the words <laughs> best girls that I <laughs> with in my youth were the pastor's daughters. <laughs> Cliff has a nun fetish. Because <laughs> you ain't getting none. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, I am. It's just not from somebody other than me. Yeah. He, he said it's been so long, he forgot what armpit of thunder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Three nuns are sitting on a park bench enjoying the weather. The guy walks up in a trench coat and flashes them. Two of them had a stroke. The third one couldn't reach. <laughs> I always heard it was three old ladies, and the third one said, or the third one kept her hands to herself. So. Sorry, Doug, for the delays. I'm not hearing. What? Oh, so, so what you're saying is your internet's fine now, and that, now it's your audio. No, it's Thank because I'm wearing noise canceling headphones. What? Because no, I don't hear anything but like uh, uh, dogs barking in the air conditioner. I can't even hear anything. What you say? I thought we were going to get a, a GoFundMe for a new headset. I need a new wireless headset and a computer and a, a surround sound system and a lighting display. Honestly, that was my top chatter. That's, is that two times I got the crown? And Beth was in second place. Go yay! Well, you know what it is. Because you weren't on panel. If you are on the panel, yeah, you wouldn't no have been shit. top chatter. I hear you. Job, Reg Regina said, my favorite joke is, do you know the first thing that goes through the bug's mind when you hit the windshield? 
Well, I know what the last thing that goes through. I know what the last yeah. thing is. Yeah. <laughs> I always like saying, you know what a bug's last words are when it hits your windshield? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> no, just oh, shit. <laughs> What's well, like, uh, uh, yeah, Beth and, Beth and uh, Cliff were talking up quite a storm last night. I know, I've uh, seen that. She Get wouldn't stop going. flirting with me. She proposed to me and everything. God. Did you wake up, Cliff? Did I wake up? <laughs> yeah, but the uh, one thing the, the one thing that she didn't do is is get us as friends. Oh, uh, Lydia, it, it it's on your uh, uh, on your analytics. Beth says BS. She's not wrong. <laughs> it's implied. Hey, I think there's a Rush Meadows lurking. Yeah, I, I woke up to a friend request because, you know, she's got good taste in wood. I don't know about people. You think there's a lurker out there? Why? All this talk about sex, I need to go smoke. Just making an excuse. Need some puff on the yeah. Talk about sex. Baby, let's, Baby. Talk about you. let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about coffee and let's lube. And... All the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex, sex, sex. You just turned into Sammy Davis Jr. Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. Since I see that board, you're warped. What? That's why I'm planing it down. It's cupped. It's not warped. It's cupped. She goes, uh, Beth says, how do you become friends with someone only if you know the first name? LOL. I don't know that I know the answer to that one. You got to stalk them and find out some more of their info. Just ask. Somebody might tell you. Well, yeah, you got to stalk them. But the thing is, is that if you uh, click on the link and hit a friend a, a friend request, it's so much easier just to get it done that way too. <clears throat> and then what you do is when you're friends with the one person, then you stock their friends list. And yeah. Friend everybody else. Stop doing popping off so fast. Stop doing I'm popping off so fast. Sure hey, it's been a while since somebody else. Yeah, stop popping off so fast. Just let let her enjoy her time with you. I might not even get my zipper down first. What? What? <laughs> oh, God, oh, Greg is chiming in. I'm scared to see this. That workbench isn't very sturdy. The boards jump around. Board jumps around. Stop popping off. Jump, you jump, stop going jump to around. We like stop to going jump, to smoke jump. so often. Y'all are gonna get me evicted not reading the comments. <laughs> Friends are evicted. I mean, hey, hidden. <laughs> oh yeah, I did that. Okay, I'll explain that best. <clears throat> I used to own a shock and gore site with about twenty thousand members, and you can make a few enemies that way. And I didn't want people starting shit. That's <laughs> friends or imaginary, says uh, Greg. That's not all to get. Well, they're all online. <laughs> and then uh, Doug says they hide for a good reason. My girlfriend's name is JPEG. I mean, it's not Pixie? Pixelated? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not into Asians. <laughs> Pixelated. 
I think it's so funny how in Japanese, which I've heard from a friend, Japanese porn, they'll pixelate the genitalia, but they'll show poop and vomit and all kinds of stuff. Clear as a bell. Oh, Hello, dear, Robin. you are fast. Holy cow, I gotta go so far down <laughs> your freaking photos to find a picture of you. Unbelievable. Her name is Roydy. Oh, you got one of them freaking yappy birds, too. Hello, Robin. Red Robin. Yum. <laughs> You can hit hide. <laughs> the Red Robin food sucks. I've never been there. <laughs> Good. So, Robin, did you dye your hair before you go into surgery because you don't think you'll be able to do it after? Or what? She needed to put out a video. Got to look pretty before you get put under. Are you saying? Are you saying Robin puts out? <laughs> she, she will be in six to eight weeks. <laughs> yeah, that'll be that'll be uh, sorry, Robin. Well, we 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 went off the rails early. <laughs> Virginia's is all you can do is eat fries. She says, "Yeah, I'm scared. I can't raise my arm." Says Robin. I did have a yappy bird. He died, says Beth. I like Jessica's bird other than her. <laughs> and, uh, and he said I had surgery last year, cut off 18 inches of my hair. Damn. Must have been alone. Thank you, I've been working it out. <laughs> you know, I hate to say it, but these Fortune 2 shows, <laughs> <laughs> listening to them and listening to Cliff's comments, blend it right together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being simulcast. <laughs> I have Holy a cow, Bath. How, how, Bath, how young were you when you got married? Oh, you look it's like you're 15. She's, by the way, says I married on my profile only because I helped him get his ex-wife off his back. He was my first husband. I'm still married on paper, but... <clears throat> 17, John. And he said, I cut my hair in 2002 up to my ears, measure 29 inches or when I cut it last year, it was short for me. I bet it was. You going it back out? I'm just peeing in the coffee. I know what you think. Virginia says, dang, I said five. <clears throat> Oh, Lordy. Hope you make it, I hope you're making enough for me. Uh, I could make some more, but it'll be cold before you get here. Well, what you're using wouldn't even touch this cup. Because you know what size cup we have. We have a man cup. We don't have a little baby cup. Okay, her voice just went nearly hard to understand. Does anybody else hear that? Now it's fine. Uh, she said, I like, I, like, <clears throat> I like to let it regrow every seven to eight years. Says, I like to let it regrow every seven to eight hours. 
I was about to say I'd like to lose at least one today. John, I swear on the American version of you. Or, you should right. hop out, left out, no X. Yeah, see, I got married. I got married when I was eighteen. I'm this collecting so, X's. Oh. So I got married in nineteen. Had three kids, divorced, vasectomy by the time I was twenty-three. I only have access because the rough going gets rough. They get the fuck out. And then, and then between <laughs> between between uh, ages twenty six, well, because he it actually took six years for the divorce to happen, going through courts and lawyers and everything else, uh, and then basically between twenty six and thirty two, there was three engagements, and then another marriage. What? Yep. My first marriage lasted eight years. This one lasted Get off, seven. Cliff. Damn. Oh, there's another wave. Yeah, spent uh, spent ten grand to get to, to get uh, one of my fiancés moved out here, and then she was out here for three months, and just up and left, and left all her shit here. I actually had a woman come all the way from Germany to see me, and. Uh, the only reason we ain't together now is because she couldn't get back, and you know I have to take care of my. I was my parents, now my mom. Then another one that just uh, at, that we got engaged after about six months, and then just up and left, go ghosted me. I can't. I don't, I don't even know where she is now. Huh. Beth says I had two kids, two husbands by twenty thirty. And he said, been married 34 years this year. At year 20, he wanted a divorce. I said, no, it took me this long to break you in. I'm not doing it again. That's it. Johnny's had first and only. Been going 41 years. You go, girl. See, y'all are the right kind of people. It's too easy in the age of the internet to find a replacement and then hit the road. All yeah, because you know, back, vows don't mean shit to too many people now. And it pisses me off. Back, back in the day, it, it took a while to actually try and meet somebody. But I don't live in exactly the prime spot to meet people either, unless you're looking to be in somebody's will. Yeah, because you know, because because you know, I'm the worst guy in the world to try and get along with, right? I know you're kind of shit. I just come on your show to make you feel better. <laughs> you come on the show to try and find a woman. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, yeah. Right, Cliff. Cliff, how how many people in the chat have you asked to marry you? Uh, maybe two in all these years. Oh, okay. I don't know who the third one was. Apparently, oh, Angela. Was. Angela. Right. No, I didn't ask her to marry me. I just said we're married. Yeah, she said we're married. Didn't even ask her. <laughs> I was trying to be assertive. That's why Cliff wanted to start. <laughs> no, uh, I I have zero life outside of online, so this is kind of the highlight of my days. Uh, Regina says I was the third wife. We were married. We were together almost thirty years. We died in twenty eleven. Tracy, Tracy said I've been married and divorced twice. Now I'm happily single. I'm sorry, Regina. I'm I can be happy while single, but not happy because I'm single. Oh, oh, except for from my first wife. The meanest thing she ever said to me was, I do. Beth says she was the third last night. <laughs> Jack said, I've been married for 96 years. I count in dog years because she is a well. <laughs> well, you know, you know, you know, Beth, the third, third time's a charm. So, Jack, you need to be on here, bro. You ain't been on here in a long time. Oh, God. And I'm willing to let people use me for my body if I can use them for their money. <laughs> just use me, abuse me. Just don't throw me away. Yeah. Yeah. China said, I never asked anybody to marry me. They asked me. I asked. I was asked twice. <laughs> no, see, my last marriage, I, I didn't waste any time. We met. Well, we met online. And then a couple months later, she moved in. Uh, two months later, we got married. Lasted seven years. We still are best friends. We're just not 
finances suck too much and there's too much stress. Uh, Virginia said he always said he wasn't getting married again, but he did. My first wife said that. My first, my second wife was just looking for a lawnmower, take a break from that, and looked at the personals, and there I was. And I mow lawns. <laughs> <laughs> Only my own or where I'm living. But I think I'm pretty cool. Oh, no. She said, no worries, guys. It's a part of life, says Regina. You know, uh, you know, I was I was thought about it long and hard, like honestly, long and hard, long and hard. I just leave it right there. <laughs> yes, she says never married, but twenty one years together. But you know, if 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 uh, if you get out for man for manslaughter. It, 18 years, you know, in good things like you know, eight years in good behavior. If you do the whole 20 to 22 years for manslaughter, I would have been out freaking four years ago. <laughs> oh, see, I thought I was okay. This is this is how I am. My first marriage, and not that she deserved it, but actually, my last wife deserved this proposal more. But I didn't know what I was going to say until I asked her, and I just said, when I met you, I was two steps from heaven. I'll be one step closer if you'll marry me. The last one, I was just so excited that the damn ring finally showed up that I just got on my knee while she's on the couch, and you don't get married. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, that's romantic. No, I, I am romantic and, and the opposite. But, uh, I get I give good gift because I can't give very often. So when I do, like I I bought her a, a real road dip rose dipped in twenty four karat gold, then platinum. And I I always buy from the hot. Well, <clears throat> getting back to Jessica, you know, call my law marriage. State of Texas, it's if you live with somebody six months, you hear commonly law of marriage. Well, see, they, they, you they keep you introduce yourself that way. They, they they keep changing it though because because uh, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's six, and the thing is that if you guys are on each other's insurance or health insurance or uh, your both your names are on the title of the house, then technically you're married. Mm-hmm. In the Connie, eyes of the law. Tony says my husband never asked me to marry him, and I didn't ask him either. Yeah, I, I don't have a. Sorry, Herb. Hey, you want to shack up? <laughs> China's going to marry Jessica. Can I be the best whore? And he said uh, they, pre- did, they did away with uh, common law in West Virginia. I don't have a negative thing to say about my ex-wife. It just wasn't, it couldn't work out. It was all she did was work. Well, I can see I- something about my second one. I didn't bring in enough money to help enough, but she oh, doesn't hate me or dislike me. There's a proposal for you, Jess. She's even yelling it too. Oh my God! And she answered, "Oh God." Are y'all gonna consummate it immediately? If so, will it be on a live <laughs> or even a backstage? I'll buy a ticket for that one. <laughs> Gotta I'll, consummate I'll it with it. Get it consummated within in. 24 hours. Yeah. And I think there's supposed to be like three witnesses, like, and I think they have to be named John Herb and Cliff. I'm not 100% but I will check on that. <laughs> That's no Herb Arba. <laughs> right away. Oh, <laughs> uh, we're now the chat. I heard something like Texas 24 hours. It doesn't have to be in a, on a live, it can be just in StreamYard. Just saying. Oh, see, no, see, we're not the bad ones, honestly. We're not. We're we're, we're innocent, shy. We're just shy. the ones talking out loud. Y'all are right as bad as we're talking. And he says, I attribute my long marriage to work nights. So he works nights, I work days, and we see each other about six, seven hours a day. And right now he's work, 
Yeah, and actually, the the little absence makes the heart grow fonder thing does work. And I used to think it was a fairy tale. And people said, "Well, you got to be best friends." I actually yeah. was. So we got along great. It's <laughs> Larry, Larry, Larry <laughs> there's 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 a couple ways to look at having kids. Uh, number one, to increase your 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 family line. Uh, number two, uh, child labor on, on in the fields. Uh, three, uh, checks from the government. The more kids you get, the more checks, the more money you get from the government for fucking kids. And if the Actually, remote right batteries off. run down, you don't have to get up to do the TV. Yeah. <clears throat> and then you got somebody to take care of you when you're older. I took care of you until you're 18 years old. It's your fucking time job now. What? Yeah, me and my wife actually enjoyed being around each other. It just, ah, oh, dang it. I have regrets, but it's not, not anything I did. Connie says they met January 8th, 83. He called me Mrs. Dunyan on the 28th of the same month. We moved mm-hmm. in together a week later, and we were married March 15th, the same year. Oof. Holy my cow, first, God. My first wife, I married 360 days after our first date. Uh, second one started talking in April, met in May, moved in in June, married in August. Yeah, my parents were together 55 years before my papa died. Oh man. Uh, Regina says, Mahabi and I were together almost 24 7. We worked together too. Well, it's like me and Carrie that they like, we may get well, like, we just did our 20, 20 years was on the fourth, and uh, we worked together. Uh, at two, two, two jobs we worked together. Uh, one she was a receptionist, basically telling me what to do in the back of the shop, and then the other job I was operations manager, and I actually had to fire her. Damn, that was awkward at home that night. <laughs> no, well, well, well. See, see, but the, but the thing is, is that uh, even when we got together, like work is work and home is home. Like as soon as we walked in the door at home. It's, it's it's a total different atmosphere. Like we didn't talk about work at all. Like like work is work, and home was home. Like it, it like we we had our boundaries. It was it was nice to get along like that. Yeah. Yeah, I had to well, fire her. I had to, I had to fire her in front of the uh, uh, the vice president of the company, uh, the HR rep, and uh, uh, and the boss was there too. So, but but because I was operations manager, it was my duty to do that. Yeah. And then a week and a half later, the boss hired her as her personal assistant. <laughs> Jesus. <Awkward. laughs> making, making twice as much money as what she was working for the company. Which was always there. a rhyme and a reason. Yep. Yeah, I, I fired my wife three times on one job. To kick it off, it was your own grandmother's house where you were working on. <laughs> <laughs> It was awkward though, because you, you know how you know I, I'm flirt- You guys know I'm flirtatious, right? It was awkward. Yeah. At work. It was awkward at work because like she, she, her office was well, her office was actually upstairs, but she used to come downstairs all the time. My office was in the back with with, with all the employees, and it, it was hard. But you know, flirting with the girls on the floor when she comes walking down the stairs, it's like oh, work is work, work is work. That's right. <laughs> Yeah, Pam told me, she said, you can't fire me. <clears throat> I'm your wife. No, you're not my wife. Once we hit that driveway, you're an employee. Uh, I, I know I'm a major perv and everything, but to be honest with you, it's the closeness I miss. And he says, I hear you. I'm the only one out of seven siblings that have had a lasting marriage. <laughs> yeah, my mom told me, y'all are the only ones that wasn't worried about getting a divorce. But it, I'll tell you one thing, it's, it's much easier to have an ex that you don't hate because it, my hate for my first wife consumed me. I was watching, uh, I was watching some video about a month or so ago. I'll be back. It was all about uh, uh, divorce rates, divorce rates in the U.S. And that, you know, divorce rate, like 35, 35% of most marriages end in divorce. Uh, so they they were over talking to the, the the lesbian community, 
and because because they said, oh, it, it, it is mostly the man's fault for the divorce is happening. They went over the, les the lesbian community, which is all girl on girl marriages and stuff, and they determined that it was actually sixty three percent of lesbian marriages ended in divorce. And they said there's no man involved there, so technically, you see, you know what the problem was to begin with. Yeah, uh, but see, I. I understand some people can get married by mistake, but to just give up and say I want a divorce, that pisses me off. Because I, this is going to sound like poetic crap, but I tell everybody I can't give you much more than myself, but you get all of me. Because I, I don't play around with people's hearts. It's kind of a big deal to me. All of me, all of you. Uh, there's nothing we can do. But I just don't believe that as soon as it's a little tough and you have an argument, well, which is not what happened, but it, it's just too damn easy to give up now, and it pisses me off. But yeah, it's uh, just enjoying being in their, <laughs> ooh, each other's companies and stuff like that. And, Marriage is hard work. It's not easy. Yeah, that's true. It, like you, you, you got to work at your marriage. <coughs> I've lost two homes now to women leaving me, and not because they took it, it's because I couldn't afford to keep it. <coughs> now I live in a freaking garage. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the the last time I saw my ex was at uh, our son's wedding, and uh, she tried to be like I I was being as amicable and nice as I could, and she was just herself and it <laughs> it was not a good situation uh, Larry just nailed it uh, communication I push communication don't sit there and say nothing's wrong when there obviously is and then build up a laundry list and then end up hating them Ugh. and you can do it with tact if everything is a fight I remember one time I was flipping through the channels and there was an old couple on Oprah that had di married divorced and then married and been together forever and they said, how do you make it last? He said, we fight for the relationship. We don't fight to win the argument. Woo! I just, there's, don't sweat the small stuff and not, everything's the small stuff. Bonnie fell asleep. They're going to get me in trouble again. Up <laughs> <laughs> on, Bonnie. You have to communicate and fight for the marriage. Yeah, see, see, and yeah. and the th the thing is, I I honestly can tell you that me and Carrie have never had an argument or a fight. But my ex, like every time, <laughs> freaking saw her. Like I could see, well, I see her down the street, and you can just she starts yelling from down the street. That's how bad she was. And never go to bed angry. That's another, one thing I liked about my wife is you could tell her, ask her anything. We, we shared every deepest, darkest secret we had. I'd go get me soda water. Soda water. The best soda pop. I had to go dehydrate, and now I got something to hydrate with. Made a poo-poo. Oh, Lordy. What do I like about over here? We talk a little bit about everything. Yeah, yeah. I'm a major communicator. I'm a, and I'll, I'll always, always, always be honest with you when you're loose. And that's usually before the relationship, just so you know what you're getting into. You can ask me any damn thing about me. Yeah, it's just like this wife here. Our relationship started in high school, went our separate ways, got married to different people. Hooked up again after both of us went, got divorced. Then uh, <clears throat> my drinking got too screwed up, and uh, she said, "When you decide to sober up, call me." 
I did invited her over for dinner and she never left. <laughs> did she at least do the dishes? I'm just kidding. Well, it's like I know, like like I I, I, I still talk to some people from high school and uh, friends from high school, and they still act the same way they did in high school. Like they never grew up. They like they 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 may have had you know they got married, they got divorced, they got kids, they got grandkids now. But the thing is, they still go out and party like they're freaking eighteen years old. Mm-hmm. It's unbelievable. Like I don't I don't know how you can live a life like that your entire life. No. Oh, and the ones that need to be spoiled or need to be taking on vacations and stuff. If being together isn't enough for you, you don't always have to go out on the town and party it up and shit. Exactly. Well, sorry to hear that, Beth. What happened? And Greg said something. No, she says, uh, I never had a fight with my first hubby. The second one abused and almost killed me. Yeah. Damn. Sorry about that. That's the kind of guy you need to take out to the fishing pond. Yeah, see, my wife's new guy, he's very good to her, but he's not the most romantic fellow in the world. Oh, I can fucking romance the crap out of you, but... Oh, I could romance the shit out of somebody, too. I just don't show that publicly <laughs> until we get serious. Uh, a major communicator being pissed if it shuts up. <laughs> I ain't talking no more than anybody else today. <laughs> you know, you said that, don't you? <clears throat> that's true, Beth. You live through it, and that's what counts. Well, see, because the thing is, if you did, you wouldn't be here having a great time with us all weekend long for the last couple of weeks that we've known you. Yeah, I just had my partying days over and done with. All I see is my dogs, my mom, and my uncle. I'm on a babble a little bit when I get out of the See, I know my uh, my partying days, I guess, would be... Uh, uh, no. Well, when I was in the military, but that's, you know, because you got to do you got to do what the other boys do. So I guess my military time was my party time, and that's about it. But thank God all the partying days are over with. Mm-hmm. Well, I know this party's going to be over right away, too. I got to get inside and spend some time with Carrie. <laughs> what? That whole 20 year thing? Yeah, the whole 20 year thing. <clears throat> but uh, we'll, we'll get, dinner's already ready, too. So. Well, dinner's ready. I done left a long time ago. Yeah. So, uh, well, she knows, well, when, when I went in dehydrated, I told her about. I told her in about an hour. But uh, anyway, let me say goodbye to you this time. Because last night I come back, hell, y'all was all gone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. Well, we were gone. Well, because you were gone for probably a good half hour, almost. Well, she was in there packing my foot. No. You know when uh, the nurse hollers, you gotta go. Yeah, yeah. All right. So I don't know. I don't know who's going live tonight. Uh, Jess, China may be going on. I'm not sure. Um, I didn't really pull anything up to see who's going on. But uh, well, I'm uh, looking. Another... I don't see anything right now. Hey, is uh, uh, Jess China? You, are you, is either one of you going on with tonight? I know tomorrow. Mishi's on tomorrow. Um, Crafty leaders are on right now. <laughs> uh, Jessica said, um, China, pop up. A pop up. Talk about the first thing that pops up. Well, Cliff will be there right away. What? <laughs> what? Act like Hi, you're Danny. Jack was live, David unlisted. Connie says not all. What? Nancy's still on. Jessica and Nancy are working out if they're going to do it live or not. A pop up. Pop up video. 
Oh yeah, uh, shenanigans is coming up right away. Uh, it should have already been started. Oh wait, they changed it. The hell, they changed the time. What? Yeah, it was set for 8.45, now it's changed to 9.30. So now it's another 45 minutes for it. I'll probably grab what hopefully will just be in that first and then see who's around. Well, I don't know how long Nancy's going to be on for. If I redirect over there, then I'm expected to be over there as well. You can't really do a raid unless you're, you know, the host is there as well. You know, Mark's on tomorrow too, which should be. Yep. One o'clock Pacific, I think it is twelve Pacific. Yeah, twelve Pacific. Oh, he's still working on his picture gonna tool. Be lurking in the bushes again. I see that. Uh Beth says she got out of work late. Well, there's 18 on over at Nancy's right now. If you, you get. Boy, Cliff Paul Charles. Well, a lot, a lot of you guys are over there already. Yeah. Jessica's over there. Chris is there. there. <laughs> I've Herb's been over there. it all the time. Uh, Herb, Jeff, and. Herb, Jess, Angela, Shirley, Annie. See, you guys are all over there anyway, so there you go. And Charles just showed up. Pooped. Oh. <laughs> uh. Oh, golly. <clears throat> I may go to hangouts for a little bit. All right. There, I just listed. Oh, wait. Did I share it here? No, I didn't share it here. Okay. If you guys if you guys <laughs> that aren't over there want to go over to the Crafty Ladies, here's the link for it. Cliff just left. Charles, I'm uh, going no. to Yeah, he, he just left right now. Oh, I did hear it. Well, if anybody wants to uh, hang out, let me know. I'll send you a link. Or if you guys want to go. Or if you want Just hold on a second. Here. All right, auction. Dun, 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 dun. Just give me a second. Right. There's an auction going on. It's starting at about half an hour. We'll check that out and see how that's working out for you guys over there. Yeah. There you go. No well, I was talking to the girls last night because I was on until 6.30 this morning, so... So after after my live, I was on with China, and then was on with Jessica, and I think it was on China's live. I said, you know, I just I just look so old with a beard. They're like, oh no, what do you think we eat without one? So I showed them the pictures that I had from my midlife crisis, like it was like six years ago, and uh, I'm like, you know what? I'll shave. I'll show you guys tomorrow. We'll look like all clean shaven. So I look like a little boy now. There you go. I'm glad I caught myself. I thought we was ended. Not yet. Uh, we will be now, no. though. And, uh, no. So, 
So we're going to say good night, guys, and uh, go check out everybody else's lives that are on. And we'll be on tomorrow. You're, what, what time are you you're thinking? You said noon? Yeah, noonish. Okay. So noon central. Uh, hopefully, her, we'll, we'll try to get Herb in here and uh, we'll see what uh, how Herb manages on a scroll saw. I'll be doing some work already inside of my shop, though, because I got to get that wedding topper done. So uh, take care, have fun, and we'll talk at y'all later. We'll go join us tomorrow for some more Greatest right. Scroll. Oh, Moon Rose will be on for oh. a few minutes. Well, hold on a second. Let me throw your yeah. link in here, too, then. Um, well, I guess I'll go over and watch her. <clears throat> okay, Charles. Well, why didn't it come up? It should have come up then. I don't know. No, it's Moon Rise. Moon Rose. Uh, it's not even set up. What the hell? You're not set up for a live yet, or but you got a premiere coming out or something? There's Moon Rose's link. All right, there you guys go. Take care, have fun. Like I said, join us tomorrow for some more data scroll. We'll have some more laughs and blasts and see what happens. Talk to you later.